What's up, everybody? This is Edward back on another video, another episode of Everybody Hates Black Men. I am your host, Edward Anderson. This is a little quick. I, I know I did another stream. Also, you know, I see the game. You know, they lost. It is what it is. You know, shout out to Charles. Hope he's doing all right. Um, you know, Mahomes is going, so it's NFL. It is what it is. Um, so maybe next time. But it's a video I wanted to um, share. There's a video I wanted to um look at and this is from you know younger black female and and this just goes to show you these narratives that get perpetuated and yet another reason as to why we need to exist and why when i hear dudes you know let, let me say this it's one thing obviously i'm not against holding black men accountable because but the question really is what what are you holding black men accountable to and i want to talk to about other dudes for a second what do you want to hold? What are you holding black men accountable to? See, there's a difference between holding black men accountable and then you you all just emotionally dope dealing. You all positioning yourselves to maximize, you know, basically telling women what they want to hear. You don't really care that, you know, by the time they realize what you're saying is absolute bogusness or garbage um, that, you know, they're going to be old. They're going to be messed up. Like you niggas don't care about lying basically is what I'm saying. And then you got your true believers, like dudes, like consciously that idiot that basically, um, you know, basically says they basically say, they basically put on here. They actually believe the stupid stuff that they say. And then what they try to do is, is they're really, they're not activists. They're just playing games on the internet. They're basically saying, what am I going to say in order to get people to like this so I can build, build, um, build a platform? And from a marketer's perspective, I understand that. But at the same time, there's a way of doing that and not being a liar. There's a way of doing that and not selling your people out because that's, that's what you're doing. That is that is what you're doing. One thing that I can respect about Brandon Tatum, and I agree with very little, but one thing uh, what he says, but one thing I will respect is he stands on what he believes, even in the face of it potentially can uh, mess mess with his bag, and and even with the audience that uh, he's built this thing on. For example, you know he's had a uh, a biracial kid, and he does not see his biracial kid as black. Now, you all have may have difference of opinions on that. There are people that um that agree with him. That's a minority, but there are people that agree with him. And the one drop rule is a unique American thing, United States thing. I think a lot of African Americans don't understand that. Now that being said, that you need to talk to these white folks about that, not talk to black folks about it. So when you got people like Tyler, the chick from South Africa, just trying to chastise us about you Americans, no, do not say you black Americans. You take that to the white people. Until this day, not a single white person call her colored. Not a single white person she talked to call her color. What it was is they just didn't talk about it. So what probably happened was they uh, behind the scenes they said, "Look, we're not calling you that." period. So you don't have to come here, but we're not, we're, we're just going to talk about something else and we'll ask different questions. So you're not coming on this platform. I'm talking about the white platforms in the mainstream, you know, saying that. So, so you really want to want that to be a problem. And she was probably talked to by her handlers. This said, it's not that big of a deal. You've already, you know, made a splash with the blacks saying that. So they never called her colored. They, they never did. So, again, once again, you reinforce the racial hierarchy when you do that, because, again, y'all are not standing on y'all won't stand on business with them. So so that's why I say if you're not going to stand on business with them, then you're not going to do it with us. Like, I, I never understand why do you all randomly call people. um. Why do you all randomly I, I never understand why people will just randomly call people like on on Telegram. Why do y'all do that? Like, seriously, one day I'm going to just pick up the phone and just light somebody up because it's one thing to cold message somebody. It's another thing to call people that that's 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 an abuse of um that's an abuse of the way TikTok. I mean, not TikTok, but um, Telegram works. It really is. And, and that's why in real talk, folks like that should be reported. But anyway, and I do and I do do that. I click on block report. 
because I don't know why you think you're going to randomly call somebody and then you think you're going to have a conversation by random. I mean, if you're going to do that, just go through the fucking phone book. If, if you're really going to do that, go through the go through the phone book. But anyway, I mean, because that's the same shit. Go through the phone book. And then the person I just did that with, it was like, hello. So 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 it wasn't by accident. You knew what you were doing when you did that. Uh, I'm glad they make it easy to block people. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So you're not gonna come to us and play that game, and and that's and, and that's exactly what I was told. I said, oh, with all due respect, I like your music. I like the song, and and I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what. Get on these mainstream platforms, Jimmy Kimmel, um, Jimmy Kimmel, you know, Good Morning America, and you tell a Caucasian person you need to do two. So because the first one, you're going to catch them off guard. Tell two Caucasian people, because you've told a whole bunch of black people that you're colored and get them to accept that. I'll call you colored. Well, what? No, there is no why. The why is because you're reinforcing racial hierarchies, which is why people have a problem with it. So once you demonstrate that that's not the case, that you will tell a white person, a white dude and a white woman or two white dudes that you're colored and they need to refer you as that. I'll do it until then. As far as I'm concerned, you're you're being brave. You're not really being brave. My point is that a lot of these dudes come uh, holding black men accountable. Any coward can do that. That doesn't require balls. That doesn't require nuts. You can build platforms off of holding black men accountable. Uh, and don't tell me you can build platforms off doing it with women because Kevin was an anomaly and that um, anomaly. You haven't seen that really built up to the level that he's done it um, since. And, and even the channels, they're like at Jason Black's level. There's not a lot of them. But my point is that these dudes, they are not telling the truth because that's the truth. They're not even telling, quote unquote, their truth. Like I said with Brandon Tatum, as his truth is, my kid is not black. And this one drop rule needs to end because that is racism to me. And I, you know, and he has said this live to where he can eyeball these white people live. Like when I say live, I mean, in person, he has said this in speeches he's done. I can respect that. Because I've always said at the end of the day, he believes what he's talking about. And we can debate that. Not this, well, I'm just going to say what I need to say. And then I'm going to back off of it once I realize people are starting to turn on me. It's the same thing I said in my other stream with Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, the whole situation, her brother did what he did. That's been out for years. Um, and, and then she went and got with Kendall Petty. Granted, a lot of people didn't like that, even people that are fans of hers. But my point is, overall, it's like that's not held to the extreme because we got to, you know, code up around women. No, right is right is wrong is wrong. Right is right is wrong is wrong. You're reinforcing that by even allowing her as big of a name as she is to even operate doing that. She should have understood the fact that she publicly married him and the fact that she publicly has him out there. That tells you everything that the fact that she's even able to be in the industry at all speaks volumes to how seriously y'all really take that and so it's more of a weapon against men more than it actually has any bearing on you actually caring about this because when it's you in this situation now it's situational now it's your situation now it's my body it's not it's what you're choosing i'm talking about a, a, if you're of age because remember that situation was done to other black women but whatever what do I know? But anyway, this video is more so of this this term I hear used. You know, we, we, these women always go through cycles. These social media little trendy things to say, which is why y'all are bird brained as hell. So, you know, pasta and lob. Notice how the shit we bring up, SYS, BM, PBB, that those things, red pill, those things stand the test of time. Those things, we don't jump from thing to thing to thing to thing. Igmore is not talked about as much, but because Igmore is really more behind the scenes on a lot of stuff. But the reality is these things, even even people sit things that people don't like, I make them, these things stand the test of time. Dudes are not just jumping from this to this to this to this to this to this to this, to this. versus women. Oh, man. Soft life. Pasta lobster. You know, all this stuff operates under, you know, female, fake female empowerment myths that are trendy. And the thing is, when if you're on social media, it's too much years go by man time flies and then you you really you're only in your 20s once and so when you and so i love when people always talk about yeah man we got to say something because you know the boys are being um the are, are being um 
they're being infected or they're being, you know, groomed. And I'm like, yo, your public school system, I mean, you got the T community in the public school system. You got LGBT taught in the system. They're trying to take black history out of it. There's no priority to, on these kids. These kids are somehow still passing classes, even though they can't read and write because that's where the money and hot stuff gets funded. Yo, they have beyond they, the fact, even when I was in school, you had regular English, honors English and AP English. Honors English was regular English. Honors English were people that were at level. They didn't say that, but they were at level. Either at level, AP is you're clearly beyond level, so you can take an AP course, meaning you can save money. Um, you know, you know, when it comes to college, so you don't have to deal with that. Versus regular, um, versus regular English. Um, and I'm not hating on. Look, if you're in regular English, it not may not necessarily mean you're stupid. It just means you didn't, you really didn't give a fuck. That 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 that's part of it too. I know everybody in regular English wasn't stupid, but it means but you could not give a fuck and be an honors too. But it just means you really don't give a fuck, and it's a situation where they didn't they don't want to fail you, so they create that situation so they don't have to. That that's the game that gets played. And so my point is they're already grooming. That just stuff. It, it, there's no such thing as a situation where you're not being groomed. You're either being groomed in your own family, like we were just talking about this on art. Um, art new style. We were talking about how in order to be an engineer, in order to really go to school, I'm talking about going to these elite schools. You have to start early. You can't just decide in high school, I just want to um do shit and then I'm gonna get to an elite school. No, that starts early. The habits that you need to instill. It's the same thing with sports. You all know everybody that's in the NBA took hundreds and hundreds of shots every day, every day, every day without fail. Very few it is almost not even the register on the Richter scale. People that just fell into you don't fall in the NBA. You really don't fall in the D1 um, school either. These things typically don't happen. Now, granted, you got people that can kind of switch up because they have that kind of IQ. But that's usually not the case. It's not even the case for agents. Agents study. Agents are not smarter. They study more, period. That's it. It has nothing to do. You take you take the study habits out. You take the how many hours they spend. Boyce Watkins even covered that. You take that out. You take everything else out. He said wild towel. Yeah, because that's what it is on TikTok. What they like to say is they like to say pasta and lobster, which is a euphemism for dealing with whiteness. And, and this is clear. This is pure racial hypergamy. And that, that's going to be a word. That's going to be the word. That's got to be the phrase of the year. The phrase of the year for 2024, girl, it's racial hypergamy. And the thing is, you all like to aim that at black, with black men. Black men have the excuse of sexual access. So because women control sexual access, sometimes you got to fuck with who fucks with you. And if Becky and Maria fuck with you and black women don't, why would you? My question is, why would you try harder for, for Keisha than Becky and Maria? That's what I don't understand. I don't understand that if you're in a school and you like certain things and, you, and when you be yourself, you're more likely to get these chicks versus these chicks. Regard all things being equal, why would you date um Keisha? That's stupid. That's dumb. It's your group. It should be easier to sexually access than other groups. Which that, by the way, throws Jorge and Mari, uh, Jorge and fucking, um, you know, John Smith as well. They don't like that. They're like, what in the hell? And truth be told, quiet is a cap for all the non-black dudes out there that if um, black women were put in a place where they could not be like that, um, a lot of black men wouldn't fuck with your women as much. It, it would significantly cut that down, even the dudes that otherwise want to. And so the fact that you got other groups of women, now obviously a lot of women gravitate towards the same guys and the same kind of sim, sim, like tall, this, is this. But my point is, you know, and there's a reason I'm saying all this leading up to this video I'm going to review. And I haven't seen this video. I've seen like maybe 30 seconds of it. And I would, this is a video I typically wouldn't review because this, this is some shit I could charge off to being young and dumb. But the thing about it is nobody never talks about how Sierra 7, all these other chicks infecting these women's minds. It's all about, well, the men. It's because it's a control thing. Y'all don't want men thinking for themselves. I'm talking about other men. Men want men under control. They don't tend to have the same propensity for wanting women under control, even though women cause a hell of a lot more chaos because they're not comfortable with it because they haven't been socialized with that. They haven't been. Yeah, I know it's not just doctor. I'm saying that's who came to my mind. I clearly. Yeah, he's not only one to say that. I know he's not the he's not even the originator of it. 
But it's just to put it out there. That it's it's out there. People are aware of that. That's the difference. It has nothing to do. Like they stop studying. You kill that study time by like two hours, you'll see a difference. So it's not that they're smarter. They work. They outwork. This is why white people get away from them because they outwork them when it comes to school. That's why when it comes to school. You know. So anyway. So anyway, but. You hear this term pasta and lobster, and it, it is really crazy to me because it's like, yo, these white boys are not taking y'all out like that. Y'all like stop acting like and, and if they are, let's say I'm wrong, I'm lying, I'm a hater. Then you're a fucking idiot for dating black men to begin with. Cause then I need to know what the I know what the value add is, but I need to know what the value add is then. Like, why isn't it that you still got to constantly hammer black women to date outside their race? That's a conversation I really want to have. It's not you're you all are three generations into niggas ain't shit. You all are raised on niggas ain't shit. This is not a revelation that you get. This is something before you all even hit puberty that you all are pre-programmed with, not only in your house, but by entire the entire society. Most of y'all don't even got a dude in the house. So y'all are so this idea that this has to be constantly said over and over. I know what it is. What it really is, it's a message to try to get black men that you all like to do what the fuck you want them to do. Let me give you some news flash. The black men you're sexually attracted to know you are, and they know that, that sexual attraction is the only thing you really uh is, is you willing to give everything up for that, which means they don't have to, and they're not going to. And really, the conversation amongst the other men is, and when he say sexual attraction, you have to understand sexual attraction is not just off a of physical aesthetic. It's also cultural compatibility. A lot of things that fuck y'all up, and I'm not saying do shit and self-improve, but even if you self-improve and got your paper straight, a lot of the situation is you're paying a culture tax. So when you hear most people called lames, if you really look at what a lame is, a lame is what is deemed not culturally valuable in the black community. You know, the same community that's in the bottom, you know, the same community that's like on the, the bad side of generally every statistic, that community. So generally doing the opposite of what they culturally value actually might be good for your fucking quality of life. But this never dawns on motherfuckers until they get too old to really make the pivot. By the way, shout out to Tiger Woods. There were some people who were playing Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, um, uh, you know, his daughter, you know, you know, his daughter um, taking his daughter golfing and she was holding the clubs like she was holding the bag. and. You know, it was women out here talking about why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? You dumb fucks, because this is how you instill humility. I mean, she will appreciate somebody else holding them fucking clubs when she's doing it because she knows how heavy that is. Also, remember, Tiger Woods mom was Korean. They believe in that cycle stuff that they, they put it in the cycle. This is a part of it. So, you know, and then you look at her, she just got a smile on her face. She's not sweating it at all. She, clearly, she's used to holding them clubs because she's been doing it. Yes, and she's yes, she is a female. She looks like she's in her femininity, but at the end of the day, that's a part of the process of teaching her how to do that, how to be like that's passing now. But y'all don't see that because y'all are always talking from lack. So for you, everybody else lacks. You know, so it's this I need this, I need that. You don't need shit. And that's why I'm always telling y'all, tell them chicks, if you can get it from the white boy, then then like Kevin Sanders used to do with the salute. I salute you. Go get it. And by the way, this this video is spon is not sponsored, but it is, you know, I want to brought I want to uh, recommend only logical, only logical tells the truth with receipts as to what um, goes on over the fence. Also, accountable commentary. I put that in the link in the description as well. So because he also uh, does a little bit more deep dives into how quote unquote Keisha stays taken out. Also, fuck um, for Harriet, a.k.a. Kim Foster, talk about the sphere is digital terrorist. Your face is terrorism, which is why the mirror cracks every day um, and you got to replace it. Your face is terrorist, is a terrorist. Straight like that. So anyway, check those links out in the description. They do good work. They, you know, they don't over put out videos. Their videos are typically like um 12 minutes. His um only logical is even shorter. And um go through if you haven't listened to his channel, go especially if you like David Carroll, go through go through his whole channel because you'll zoom through it. 
you know, very entertaining. And shout out to Compassion and Callouts too. He does very good on on the shorts um stuff. Yeah, they game recognizes game. Game recognizes game. I mean, they be in the in the fucking Chinese restaurant studying and working straight up. Culture is the key to the whole thing, which is why I always come back to it, which is why I really don't respect people that don't talk about it. If you're not talking about culture, you're not talking about shit. This is one This is one of many reasons why, you know, I gravitate towards BGS so much because he does talk about culture. Uh, guys like Umar and them, they purposely get around, like, don't talk about culture because they know that's the heart of the problem. They know talk about that and go put money in their pocket. And unfortunately, you just because you're getting some fucking change or shillings. You know, you ain't clearly you ain't getting enough shillings to create that school. Clearly, women aren't supporting you enough to fund that school. So you may need to look. So it is what it is. But, you know, anyway, so with that being said, we're going to jump right in this video because I really didn't plan on doing this. I don't want this to be too, too long. Like I said, I'm going to be a little bit a little bit more mild than I normally am. because this, this is like a chick in her early 20s, probably like 19. So this is but this this is not meant for me to but this is just a certain point. This is what they're dealing with on their end. And one thing that gets uh, on my nerves, too, is how they always frame. And the only reason I'm bringing this up because it came through the algorithm. So blame YouTube. They always frame their bad relationships or their relationships that don't go the way they want. If they lost in a relationship or didn't get what they wanted, it's always, and make sure y'all support cash app. You already know what it is. They always frame that as abuse. A boyfriend breaking up with you is, a, is not abuse. You being cheated on is not abuse. Abuse is beating your ass. Abuse is popping you upside your head. Abuse is emotional, like serious emotional manipulation. Uh, y'all got to stop. Cause they start to believe this color purple story. That they have not lived. And they start saying, well, maybe, well, maybe the answer is going white. Good, go white. Nobody stop y'all. There is no black men to stop y'all from going white. There is no shame. There's nothing. Black men really have nothing to truly leverage women and punish women off going going with white boys and not black men, other than um not fucking with you after the fact, which is our right to do for whatever reason we choose to do it. Yeah, we'll see. No, she was actually challenging in this video. She was actually challenging the notion of them just dating white men. That was her issue. But I have like that's at least in the 30 seconds. This is 25 minutes. Oh, shit. So we're going to put this on 1.5 already. This is something I typically don't do. So let's see. Oh, God, this is one of these vlogs. Let's, let's just jump right in here. All right, let's jump right in here. Hey, we're going to be talking. Kind of look like Chloe Bailey again. Well, the nose ring, it's that that bull ring is a problem. The nose ring isn't as bad. I don't I don't have as big of an issue with nose rings as I do um, bull rings. I don't prefer nose rings, but bull rings, yeah, so I'm not going to charge her to that. About interracial dating. So buckle up. I know. A lot and these are like more blogs. As you can see, this is not something that's really managed, like kind of adjacent to what we do opposite. This is her talking to women. This is like if you notice the aesthetic, the vlog aesthetic and all of that with the cut ins and cutouts. So this is not necessarily a attack men channel, although you'll hear certain attitudes because I've looked at a couple other TikToks attitudes that are so normalized in, in this shit. Like they they really have their own echo chambers. But let's go. And I'll link the um, I'll share the video re link the original channel. Don't go in here trolling. Don't do that because really it doesn't matter. But people are not going to like this video. But honestly, what I'm going to say in this video is nothing new. A lot of black women have been talking about this, and I would like to contribute to this discussion. I've tried to film this video three different times already, so just... it's not that big of a deal. I don't know why you're trying. Like they're going to be mad at you no matter what you say. Then they're going to be net mad at you no matter what you say, because at the end of the day, you're you're talking about a fantasy and it is a fantasy. It's very few black women that are eights, nines and tens. They're universally attractive, but even them are not getting the most out of white men like a six, seven or eight or eight black uh, white woman or a six, seven or eight Asian. Because at the end of the day, no matter what you say, you cannot replicate a black child, a white child with a um, under the one drop rule. See, this is the, this is the real problem that black women have. Black women under the one drop rule, you cannot replicate a white child under that. That's always going to be your problem. And white dudes will never say that. But in their families is discussed, is discussed low key. Uh, Asians kind of get a pass with that a little bit, but a little bit. But um, yeah. 
drop a like for me if you don't mind. If you want to help me keep my sanity and, and remind me why I'm doing this in the first place. I want to handle this topic with care and I just hope my message gets across. But if it doesn't to the wrong people, that's not within my control. The girls who get it, get it. And the girls who don't, don't. And I'm just going to leave it at that. So typically- yeah, And most aren't because these women are living vicariously through other women. This is why Kayla Nicole had to do um, that little public service announcement for black girls. This is why she's sitting there talking about she ain't dating athletes no more, meaning no, you're just bowing out before you get bowed out. Again, you know, these are a lot of these, they, they say dudes are incels and all that, but a lot of these women are living fem cell um, attitudes. And, you know, I'm not putting this on her. I'm just saying as far as what the atmosphere is, they these women are in silos where they don't even want to have any conversation with men. And the few conversations they do have are dudes that are really looking to get a bag off these women. So they're going to tell them what they want to hear. They're going to tell them what they want to hear. When we think of interracial dating within the black community, we think of a black man dating a white woman or a black man with another woman. They have been the face of interracial dating within the black community for decades. But now we're seeing a shift where black women are now branching outside of. No, we're not seeing a shift. Black women, shout out to Only Logical once again, black women have been dating white men. This is not true. George Lucas, as old as he is, you know, has, has a black wife. This is not true. Now, it's, it's what it what it what is going on is they're starting to promote it more in mainstream. But it's always notice how black women for 20 and she's young. So I'm not putting this on her. But for 20 years, like, look, look at look at the picture she is even showing. A lot of these black women are not young. These are not young. Almost none of these women are young. These are all older. Relate, obviously, the dude on the second at the bottom, lower relationship. So, so let's do. I wish I had my um arrow. I wish I had my arrow. So, a couple of things. Meghan Markle, top left. Y- y'all really, you're really counting. Ma- Meghan Markle doesn't count. Yes, I understand she experienced racism, but Meghan Markle stands on the fact that she's biracial. She says it. She has said it when it doesn't benefit her to say it. Back in the day, I've watched Meghan Markle all the way back to Suits when it originally aired in its original first season. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, I didn't look at her hard enough to really like, oh, she's mixed. It was like it was a revelation when they brought Wendell Pierce's character in when actually her mom is mixed. And actually her mom don't even like her dad, which goes to show you why she got with him in the first place. But let's be real. I don't know why black. Why do you put this picture in here? Meghan Markle doesn't count. This the dude to the the people to the right of her. That's an old relationship. Tom Holland, fine. Um, the fourth one, old relationship. Serena Williams, fine. Who is this? Is this person black on the right side at the top? You know, um, um, Gabby Sidibe. You know, cool that she got with somebody. All right, Candace Owens. Um, I'm gonna let you have Eve, but that's not a new relationship. Everybody notice how everybody else is on their own. The person at the third on the right, she's well, I forget what her name is, but she's one of them original black feminists. These are not young people. Some of these are in black and white. What are you talking about about the rise of it? Y'all always make it seem like it's this virgining market. No, it is not. Most of the white DNA that is um that has been introduced into the black gene pool is by way of a black womb and a white dick. What are we talking about? Like, this is not true. They promote the men as a way of um, making people not like black men. The actuality is black men are actually with black women a lot more than what is promoted in athletes and stuff. And so congratulations for contributing to that goofiness. The rise, like, um, like you, you got like, it's the rise. It's not even a rise in it being promoted. It's just mainstream is starting to promote it more. That I'll give you, but this rise in the relationships, bullshit. The black community when it comes to our love interests. And this is quite significant, but historic. Of course it's significant because again, their their job is to try to be equal to white women, which black women will never be equal to white women in the United States of America. Like it's, it's not going to happen. These white people are never going to let, they're not going to do that. And so the fact that you all are on that send off mission is one thing to to view shit from a global standpoint, because that way y'all may have some room, global reputation. But that white man will never see you like he sees a white woman, period. And if y'all don't believe that, then a. Be happy in that fantasy. Black women have been 
extremely loyal to black men. This is a lie. Black women have not been loyal to black. Uh, black women have not been loyal to black men. Black women basically sided with white women and basically allowed for all the money that was going to go to black men in order to be help build the black community with stuff that we earn off the backs of our stuff being destroyed that we had already built in Jim Crow, i.e. I, I point to you to the hundred race riots that were we relied on about dealing with white women in order to activate those race rights. White women convinced black women to side with them under gender over race, and y'all got played because y'all would inherit that money because we die first, like all men die first, culinary women. This is not true. Like this is these these are color purple narratives. This is not true. And this is why I really tell you all, y'all black men need to push black women to non-black men. We need to take our foot and Roll them over there and stop playing. As soon as they taught that interracial talk, you're it's over. We're done. Go. And a lot of black women have been alone and haven't found their partners because of this strict loyalty to black men. Nobody and makes them be loyal. No, that's not true either. Black women are alone is because black women have a much higher standard for non-black men, um, black men than they do non-black men. They are alone because they think they're better than black men. So as a result, a black man has to be all this shit in order for them to be with them. Or a lot of women, quiet as it's kept, they get fat, they get overweight, they're out here whoring themselves because they don't care because they don't want to be black or be with be black. And they see a being with a black man as a way of codifying their blackness, which is why they attack some of them attack black men as viciously as they do, because it's attacking their own blackness. It's them trying to wash the N-I-G-G-E-R off of them. So they they can't do that to themselves. I'm gonna say this. And, and I know people will try to flip this on what black men do, but th the reason why that won't work is because ultimately we can prove and demonstrate our grievances with black. You know what? Fuck this. Um, Give me one second. We can demonstrate our grievances with um. We can demonstrate our grievances with black women. We can demonstrate these grievances. Black women really can't. This is why black women hold on to these nar these what I call color purple esque narratives. This chick has got to be like twenty, like nineteen to twenty three. These narratives based on what women told her or what she got from usually it's media. And, and they don't and the only way they can prove those things to be true is if they got cheated on by the guy that they like. And so this is how they encode it. But the reality. So let me let me let's, let's put this from my old head real quick. We'll get back to her. But let's do this. And I'm going to say it from from me to you. This is just straight up black women. Eighty percent of them. They don't like you. I'm a, I'm a, I get it, man. Hold on, let it run. I, you know how I do these play by plays. I cut up it, cut it all up. Eighty percent. I'm, I am probably sure it's more, but at least eighty percent of black women in this day and age. And by the way, Art Kathy is not a pick me either. FYI, Art Kathy will cuss niggas out. She will go off. FYI. It don't matter how old or young they are. They have a general dislike and hatred for you. That's your real climate, brother. See, I'm not telling you something that you ain't already felt. I'm telling you something that you know. I think it's more to. I truly think it's more to. I think it's more to. And I'm tired of being the one that's not talking about it. I've said this. This is one of the main reasons. I don't have a lot of black female friends. I really don't, y'all. I don't. I couldn't imagine what it would be like as a black man. It's an abundance. Emmanuel, um, I'm just telling you, look, I understand. I understand what you're doing. Don't put the way you did uh, divestors. Don't put that in my chat again. And I'm saying that because you got to understand that you got folks to be ghost watching this shit and they will use shit like that that y'all do in order to attack my channel. So please don't put that in there. I don't want to threaten to block you or anything because I know, you know, but do not do that because understand I do not have a visceral hatred for divestors. I don't like liars. And if you notice, I could I go after like dudes like FD Signifier that lie. 
if divestors want to divest, I am a supporter of them divesting. I care. I am as just as much a supporter as black women divesting as I am SYSBM. The difference is with SYSBM and divestors is SYSBM does not look for black women to protect them while they go and do it. SYSBM understands that they're doing that. That is a mission they're doing on their own. What black what divestors want is to simultaneously say they're divesting from a community that has no value, but still maintain um, benefits that they're getting. From that community, so they essentially want they want they want the black community to serve as an insurance policy, and that's where they're operating out of position. And nobody's playing that game because they perceive like white women get to still have white privilege even when they date black men. That's not true, and the reason that they the perception is that they do is because it because saying that a black man is doing something to a white woman allow gives the white society permission to attack that black man unjustly. They've always used that. This is why they they allow it to still happen. And for white dudes that are in higher classes, they don't have that problem. So it's not necessarily that they just get to maintain it. It's it's just it's tolerated because other things are allowed to happen as a byproduct of it. So it's not like it's so. And by the way, black men, people that know know black men are only six percent of the population or seven percent, and white women are the largest demographic. So it's almost impossible for black men to really make a significant, significant dent alone um, in that. This is this is why in Europe, you know, Muslims are a bigger population in Europe, which is why that's more of a threat. So it's not really a problem that's worth, you know, getting the so but my point is do not put but but don't put that in there. Cause y'all what y'all do, they will use in order to attack me. And you and um and you know good and well that I don't support that. And I mean that like I, I will. I'm not I'm, I don't have an animosity towards a divester. You cannot like black men and not want black men or want to date white, uh, want to be whiteness, want to pursue it. Hispanics do it all the time. You all can have a genetic wanting to genetic go after whiteness and not be calling black men nakers, not calling black men bullet bags, because real talk, even white supremacists that are more covert white supremacists, it doesn't pay to be covert, overtly racist. It, uh, you're not going to move up into corporate America and you're you're overtly racist because it makes the company look bad. It, uh, you know, you don't know. what. You, it, I, I, so even when black women do that and that's not what this video is, but even when black women do that, it's like you're not even representing that white man the way you actually need to be. You're actually a liability in that way because. that the, the white supremacy is supposed to be covert, it's not supposed to be overt because when it's overt it, it, it wastes energy trying to explain certain positions so it's it's a desperate this is why i always say divestors are pick me's because when you're attacking black men to go after white men you're sending signals black men are not doing that black men when we when we uh when we basically talk about black women the idea is we hate black women, which is why we date out. And black men are saying, no, there, that's not what it is. This is what it is. And then that's perceived as we hate black women because we're attacking black women. No, I'm not jump. I'm using this to spin it into a bigger argument. And like I said, that's the first time I saw that. And I, uh, and I know you haven't done it like that. And so I'm using this as a way of telling all y'all, don't do that hyperbolic troll shit in here. Don't. Because uh, don't. Because at the end of the day, people will um use that. And you see what happened with Obsidian and them? They they love crying and lying. They love doing that. And quite frankly, they've exposed themselves enough that we don't even have to do all that. But anyway. Yeah, so the reality is like I I what I want is for black women to divest to actually do it. That's what I want. I want black women stop talking about it. Stop living vicariously through other people, through other women that are dating out. You need to date out. But see, the problem is, is just like with the hip hop game with Ice Spice and all these other females. When they sell albums, see, they don't never want to sell albums because when they sell albums, now we're not talking about streams. We're talking about album sales. So because we're talking about album sales, now we get to measure you as what your value in the marketplace is. So this is why they always, always put this aura of them wanting to date out like it's a burgeoning market. Anyway, and by the way, if you want to if you want to really go at divestors like that, um, Emmanuel, too. 
just share um share um only logical that's why it's there only logical goes in on divestor i don't even think this chick is necessary i haven't marked her as a divestor yet but um truth be told if uh, share if you really want to hurt divestors share only logical channel spread it spread the word spread the truth that does more damage than just putting something in the comment section fyi even if you do it in um just discords and stuff and not necessarily on people's stuff that dude does a good job. Anyway. Of you that think that all men are dogs, but you, we all know it means black men. Under exactly. Tone of all relationship conversations is black men ain't shit. What did I say? And shout out to, I think it was, um, it was Zulu that shared this with me. Shout out to Zulu. And what did I do? I put it on my channel. And I, I actually uploaded it so y'all can actually see this video if you want to comment on this video specifically. Her name is Art Kathy. Art Kathy, Art Kathy is kind of what I would call an old school black chick. You know, the type of black chicks that understood you got to put in and get out. But she be on some gynocratic shit sometimes too. But um, she understood that you got you can't just be overt about it like to the extent that these women are. You, they, they're messing up the game for black people and they're messing up the game for black women as well, which is where she kind of runs into it with other, with other black women. Why these black men ain't doing this? I can't bond with y'all, sis. She did. I cannot bond with y'all when you have a general dislike. Yeah, yeah man, I'm, I'm serious because he goes in. He goes in like and he shows receipts. His videos like two minutes long, three minutes long, heavily viral. And, and he goes in real talk. Um, really, you could cut up some of his segments in the minute clips and just spread that shit on um, on uh, um, t TikTok and they come back to the YouTube channel. That's how you really go after they ass. That's how you go after it. That's how if you really want to really jam, jam them. That's how you jam them up. Jam them with the facts. In vitriol and hatred for our male counterpart. Do you not understand how goddamn psychotic that is? Exactly. But when I say it, I'm just being unreasonable. I just wanted to point that out. Now, that's not me saying that she's this psychotic, but you have to understand these are the women that she's heard and she's repeating. That's the difference. And because nobody's telling the truth, you know, anyway. Let's anyway, let's let's continue. Like I said, make sure you check out the links below. Countable commentary, only logical. And now we're starting to see that black women don't think this way anymore, especially women within Gen Z. And it feels significant because like black women, so you mean to tell me like you're really saying that Gen Z is the first generation to not think this way. I want you to understand what she just said. Now, I can pull you clips of Oprah Winfrey going into the 90s talking about this before she was born. And my thing is, I'm telling you straight up, any any black women that want to date outside their race, you need to do it. Do it. Do it. What I don't like is I don't like this threat that y'all are going to do it. But understand that what them non-black motherfuckers do that's what you got to hold. That's not our fault. It's not our job to protect you over there. No, that's that's the that's the deal you make. That's what I'm saying. So do not. So so I, well, that's what I don't like. The threat that this well, we're going to do it, but you don't do it. This is why I keep saying black men need to just say, look, if y'all want to date, date, date out. I don't know. Y'all need to explain to me. Well, why do black women? Con how, how can you have black men ain't shit? But y'all constantly dating, but y'all ain't that, but nobody's never figuring out the date out. Black men have never had an issue dating outside of the race. But that's, that's not true, which is why black men have 86 percent, which is why black men have an 86 percent marriage rate. What you're saying, you're pulling up stats, but you won't pull that up. Black men marry black women at, 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 um, of 86 percent. And you're talking about um, they have never had an issue. You've never had an issue. You can die dating outside of your race. What are you talking about? And remember, she's pulling up stats. You can be killed. Emmett Till anybody? You, what are you talking about? Black women have always had sexual access to non-black men on a sexual front. It's not targeted for you all because that's basically white men choosing you. Man, this is what I'm talking about. They be lying, y'all. They be lying.
black women have been more reluctant to do so. This video was inspired. They say reluctant. Why? They never go into the why. Why, 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 why? They never do that by the pasta and lobster trend that's been going around on TikTok. If you don't know, there's a trend where um, black girls are showing off their white boyfriends to the audio, got a white boy on my roster, he be feeding me pasta and lobster. Got a white boy on my roster, he be feeding me pasta and lobster. Could you send me up on Tuesday like what's doing bad? Let me take you shopping. I told him well, I'm a little piece. And so yeah, because every white boy is rich. <laughs> it's, 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 wow. So now black girls are using the term pasta and lobster to describe these kinds of interracial relationships. Black woman, white man, or just pasta and lobster referring to a white boy. Girls will be in the comments like, oh, I need to find me a pasta and lobster. Black woman. And, and, and by the way, when black dudes show off Becky's like this, it's goofy as fuck. And it's called out even with other black men. It's like, so you ain't never got a white chick before, especially when black men understand what these white chicks be doing. If you know, you know. So it's kind of like when you usually, and I'm not going to lie, it'd be these Africans that get these white chicks and they think they got the best thing they ever saw because to be straight up, they're not used to it. And I get that. And I get culturally not used. They don't have that kind of same inter interaction with them that black men grew up with. You know, even dudes in the inner city, like it's just not. So I get that, but it still looks goofy. And so anyway, for so long have been so loyal to black men. And we're seeing how that loyalty to black. This men is not true. This is that academic echo chamber shit. That is not true. Y'all like 10 percent of like 10 percent of the kids y'all are producing are with non black men. It's just not talked about. It's not true. You all are loyal to your options. This is why they cry about colorism hasn't really been serving us all that much in our happiness and our pursuit of a healthy loving relationship also it seems that a lot of these women in these pasta and lobster relationships seem to i also want to know you would never hear another race of women saying that they're loyal to their race and it's not serving them you would never hear that very happy and content and i wanted to talk about that and why that is Whitey, whitey. relationships seem to be very it seems that a lot of these women in these pasta and lobster relationships seem to be very happy and content and i wanted to talk about that that's because they put up front that's because they lie go look at like and all you need to do to prove that, and shout out again shout out to only logical and shout out to accountable commentary because he does more deep dives in this stuff um and this is why you know dudes need to be like on that because they lie like look at like even even six the goddess said that that was bullshit do, do i still have that video let, let me see if i still have that video while well, i uploaded that let me see if i still have that video even six the goddess said that was bullshit like it, 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 and again i want to see women i don't care but i oh, saw a video is blocked what, what? Uh, so I delete. I don't care about Perfect World Umar. Shout out to 750 Let me see if I can find this. Make sure y'all check out Marty's stuff with the Samba School stuff. Really, really good stuff. I think it's a short. Let me see if I can find it. It's crazy. Well, y'all remember the video where she was um legit, like she told y'all. Like, it, it, it's funny, but anyway, uh, let's see. It is crazy. Give me one moment. One second. One second. One second. Whatever. It's not a big deal. If I can find it, I'll find it. And why that is. But this isn't a pick. This isn't pick me energy. This isn't pick me energy. Could you imagine seeing like I want to like so so look at any other race, insert any other race doing this and how that would look. And then insert if black men was doing this with other races of women, how would that look? And it would look ridiculous. 
This is on TikTok, which is why they always screaming and crying and they don't get enough attention on TikTok, by the way. I'm, I mean, I'm always happy to see black women in happy relationships. Doesn't matter who it's with, as long as they're happy, they're being treated right, and they're not going 50-50. Oh, if you're a black woman on the internet who has been following this stuff. All of y'all, most of y'all are going 50-50. Let, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about 50-50. Most of you all, are, if you're not a housewife, if you're not a wife and a housewife and you're not going 50-50, then usually it's a sugar daddy situation in which you're a prostitute. And this is for all women, not just black women. You're prostituting yourself. You're doing the um, OnlyFans shit. There's a, some sort of sex work and prostitution involved. Most of you all are not girlfriends, and then dudes are just paying for everything. Most dudes, are, and if they are paying for everything, they're fucking cheating on you. Now, a lot of times when they're having these conversations about 50-50, it's, it's in correlated to living with a chick. I'm going to keep it real with you. There is app like I need somebody to sell me why in 2024 or in 2020 and beyond post pandemic. It makes sense to live with a chick. If you have enough money to pay for the, everything with a chick, why the fuck would you um have her live in your own place? and Y'all live together. Why would you do that? What is the point where you can't really kick her out where you got to leave? What is the point? of living with a chick in-house pussy you can bring her to your house dumbass that makes like in-house pussy i mean for real like these are questions i'm not cat williams but these are questions that are like in today now if you got a kid and y'all cohabitating that's different but that's also a little bit different in in that too but most dudes that have the money to do that, and by the way, you you get the fuck out of here. You telling me these white, these the chosen people may run that shit. And usually if you got somebody paying, see, it's this fantasy that you're going to be, if you're, let me tell you something. If you're 25 and under, uh, if you're 20, like, cause you may be college educated. If you're 23 or and under, talk about 50, you pay, somebody need to be paying for all your shit. Unless you're getting with a guy older than you, and I mean like outside the five, six, seven year range older than you, like with the like like north of five years, you're a fucking idiot and you're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. And uh, unless it's some some prostitution going on that y'all just not calling it that. You know, he gives me gifts, still prostitution. Stop lying, which is a big reason why a lot of younger women go for older dudes. Why you'll see a 19-year-old with a 29-year-old, 30-year-old, or a 21-year-old. This is why. Why are y'all lying? Just like when women, when older women date younger dudes, if you're 27, 28, and you're dating a dude that's 21 or 22, you that that's a mainly a sexual relationship. And he ain't paying for everything. Like, I don't know why y'all lying. And these white dudes, and even when you see on social media, when you see these these social media, you can't even take that seriously because that's a come up in and of itself. Any channel that has a is a couple's channel with a white man and a black woman, you know, you will most likely attract a incredible truth. Truth be told, couples channels do well on TikTok in general. Even white on white couples do well if they know what they're doing as far as skits and stuff. There's a page that I watched. It's a white dude. It's like, I think, Midwestern white folks. The chick ain't even attractive. It's a white dude, white chick. And he does this thing where he does, um, he uses Dangerous My Gangster Paradise. And he literally says, like, this it's the, it's the setup for the joke. He said, um, he'll say something like, you know. He'll say something, ever wonder where cows, why cows moo all the time? And she'll be like, why? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, and he flips the phone a certain way. And it is funny because it's, it's the same bit, but it's funny. And then she has a look on her face like, I can't believe you said that. And then she throws some at him. And, it, and the funny thing for me is she literally is always right on target with his head. She, it's either a shoe or it's a house shoe or a real shoe or it's it's a can or something and she's always like dead on it, it, it at his head every time and she don't even be close 
And so they slow it down so much. It's funny. They literally built like 2 million followers. I don't watch it all the time, but I'll watch it because it's funny because it's always something different he does. Now they flipped it to where she'll say stuff and it doesn't hit as hard, but it is still kind of funny because they, 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 they're they slick jokes. But my thing is when you see a, a black woman and I've seen interracial couples of black man and white woman work too. But when you see white um man, black woman, those always skyrocket. Because that's how many motherfuckers you got living um living vicariously through other folks in these relationships. That's why you'll have these people looking at all this interracialism. I mean, it's just everywhere. And it's like, yo, dudes are just not obsessed like that. They're not. Y'all are obsessed with it. I'm talking about the, like the market that she's speaking to. Most of them are not like, come on, man. This is why these shows always... This is why these shows, yeah, she do got like a Latina accuracy because it'd be dead on target, like as a quarterback. And it, it, it she be kind of a distance, and you can tell they had to shoot that shit like a couple of times for that to work, but it's never like clipped out, like you can't ever find a skip in the clip. Very good, anyway. I mean, we know what it is then you'll know that seeing a black woman with a white man isn't necessarily the same thing as seeing a black man with a white woman so oh here we go here we go let's repeat that let we repeat that let's repeat that let's repeat that let's repeat that who has been following let's let's repeat that let's let's slow it down let's slow it down this stuff then you'll know that seeing a black woman with a white man isn't necessarily the same thing as seeing a black man with a white woman so that's what i want explained i want you to explain why is it that you all never have videos explaining this i want a conversation I want with it with a dude or another black woman, but really the problem is if it's a whole bunch of black women, it's just gonna be some emotional bitch babble. I want it explained why it is not the same. Because you ask any other race, if you ask a white man with a uh he will tell you, seeing he will tell you on his side. It's the, it's not the same. He will say seeing a white man with a black woman is not the same as seeing a white woman with a black man. That is what they will say. That's what they'll say. You know why? Because they will say, I am a man. Number one, men will sit here and say, they'll they'll charge it off to the rules of just like a man can still love a woman and still get some other pussy. Which, by the way, historically and culturally across the globe is proven because there are cultures that have multiple wives, right? You know, again, it's it, it, so, so it's because black women, you believe you own black men. That's why you believe that you own black men and you use this fake loyalty. She's not even old enough to even say that shit. Like to, when you talk about we've been loyal, you're saying that because the women have the kids. The women have the kids because the kids give the women power. If men controlled the kids, women really wouldn't have most of the power you all have is not predicated on feminism. It's predicated on the fact that women control the kids and women control the kids because the dudes that want their kids have to fight. They have to fight fucking Thanos, a.k.a. the court system to get their fucking kids. Like, let's be real about that. So, so let's stop playing this. And, and, and that's for the women to actually get dudes to give a damn about their kids, which statistically shows a lot of black men do. So, again, it's these. Th this is why I wanted to do it because he's now I already knew where this was going. She basically has the cookie cutter standard ass color purple narratives and not challenged with jack shit. I, there's a chick by the name of Black Nostalgia that, um, that you know, she was on Angry Man was actually, I see Grinch's super chat, Angry Man, it was Angry Man, China Fox, it was, um, what's his name, Robert Perkins, and it was Tareen Rain, shout out to Tareen Rain, at 62, doing the damn thing, and it was these four, uh, five, and Angel Ramirez was hosting it, and this chick, she's kind of said the least, but I've watched her before, and she used to do this, this same shit, this chick isn't as quite 
as, as left as she is, but you do the same shit. They all get this young and dumb bullshit where it's like the narrative of black men. These are the guys y'all want to fuck. So y'all don't have that same kind of leverage over dudes y'all like that y'all do, the dudes that y'all ignore. So yeah, it's going to seem like it's a patriarchy because y'all... Y'all all y'all are easily willing to give up sex to the, and once you give up sex to a man, really the other shit he he can repli he don't need you for. He can get anything else out of you for whatever. Y'all do it for free and expect reciprocation. And a lot of some dudes do, some dudes don't. But these dudes are in the game. You're one of many chicks. Anyway, Grint says, we appreciate the ten dollars. Big facts, bargain bin, beauty, and wishful thinking don't amount to results. Stay indifferent. Absolutely. The reason why I'm doing this video is because you got a lot of dudes that get guilty. It's funny because and if y'all listen to Anton's recent shit, Anton has been going off. But a lot of these dudes get guilty. They, they and then they start trying to come at other black men. And this is why we have to clearly establish there's a reason for this. Like, understand. All those women that dealt with NBA young boy and became his baby mama, including um, uh, Yaya Mayweather, the, the, those were choices. They knew what it was. They knew who he was. He wasn't deceptive about it. He even said he don't care about being a dad like that. That's not the first time he said that. You know who you're dealing with. Just like when I tell dudes, when you deal, when you like that, that 21 year old dealing with Dre Michelle, you if you knew nothing else, you knew she was old. She was 40. That's when you. She, of course, she's doing what she's supposed to, trying to secure the bag. Let's keep it real. She's securing the bag for her and her son. I'm not mad at her for trying. You the dumbass. What was she supposed to do? Grow old and die? I'm not mad at her for trying it. I'm not going, oh, you shouldn't try it. No, I'm not mad at her for doing that. I'm mad at you for not going up in that raw and then for going up in that raw and then believing her if she ever told you she can't have a kid and not understanding she Dominican dumbass. Anyway. Anyway. And by the way, I cut this a lot because it makes it harder to act like I'm using all the content. Fair use. So with all that being said, let's really get into it, okay? So first and foremost, we have to start with the loyalty, like I mentioned, and how, unfortunately, loyalty... She has said loyalty a couple of times now. Now, keep in mind, I'm four minutes in, so I'm fucking up, but she said loyalty a couple of times now. She keeps saying it's loyalty, 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 loyalty. She is not old enough to really establish loyalty. Loyalty. When they say loyalty, what they really mean is they're sexually attracted to a certain type of black man. That's what they mean. They are not loyal to 80 percent of these Negroes. It's a losing game as black women. So I'm sure many of you are aware of the fact that black people have been oppressed, especially in America, for centuries. Notice how she's trying to turn that into some sexual shit. Is your loyalty to options you don't have. You all are throwing when you throw vag at dudes like every other chick, then you're going to be in a stable like every other chick. That's not loyalty. And see that's not ever properly explained. Like the fact that y'all are the least married shows you're not loyal. 80% of divorce, not loyal. And the years of systemic oppression has really poisoned the mind. You're not you're not old enough to talk about this. You're not old enough. I shouldn't even be commenting on this because really she's not old enough. She's talking about shit. She don't know what the fuck she's talking about. If she's a Z, you don't know jack shit. You need to be talking about economics and class. You don't know jack shit because they don't teach all that in school. The reality is when I went to school, they talked about the shit. Y'all, they not talking about it. They Y'all, you grew up on some Obama. We're all equal. Racism is a figment of imagination bullshit. That's what you grew up on. You really, if you, you... Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna let it play. Anyway, let me get this super chat. Shout out to Mr. Shane Vicious, twenty dollars. Black women have the lowest marriage rate, yet still the highest divorce rate. In addition to the lowest collabor um cohabitation rates, they also have the highest OOW rates and the highest STI rates or SCL rates. Nothing about yeah. It's like I I want to see that stuff. They they say it like it's just so true. It, it, it just is just obvious and it's not obvious. I want videos to really establish where y'all getting this from. Like I need a video top top um, five reasons why black women are loyal to black men and why it should stop. And give me the reasons. Hell, give me three. The only 
only thing I see is you all are sexually attracted to the black male aesthetic at its peak. That's what I see. By that definition, white women are loyal. By that standard. Of black Americans, black men who have been wounded by white supremacy and having a. This is literally the color purple. So black men have been wounded by white supremacy. So hurt people, hurt people. Oh my God. Those wounds and have internalized that hatred. Project that onto black women. Oh, <laughs> this is color purple. Oh my God. No, uh, black women, we understand this. We know this, but. Yeah, because black women inherently know everything. What are you talking about? You know, fuck LeBron James being married to, um, you know, his wife. Santana, fuck Steph Curry, like fuck all the fuck Robert Smith having a kid by a mixed woman, fuck the second uh, richest black man, six billion deep married to a African American straight up, fuck all that. Still, we have let our kindness and our empathy and compassion blind us and stop us from finding true this pure chick, love. This so chick is a fucking Z. Zs are fucking crazy. Where the fuck is the compassion, empathy, and I'm talking about the black men. Them motherfuckers are pissing, popping niggas. Rappers are shooting these motherfuckers and pissing on graves and getting shot for pissing on graves. Seriously. Where the com what the fuck are you talking about? The ride or die, the struggle love. That has been very normalized within the black community. And now black That is no different than any other generation. The reason y'all like struggle love because y'all want to get fucked. That is why y'all like struggle love. There is no nigga under six feet that is in 5'10 that is engaging in struggle love. Y'all want the niggas y'all want, and y'all don't allow money to be an impediment to getting the niggas y'all want. That's what struggle love is, and y'all get tired of dealing with prioritizing looks and sex above everything else, so y'all start to say, oh, I want a good guy, but you know the good guys are not falling for that shit anymore. They gonna want something from you, but you don't want to fuck them dudes. And so y'all just skip to the white boys. Well, the white boys know a lot more about y'all than y'all know about anything. They know the plays y'all run. Realizing, oh, I don't want this. And this isn't what we deserve. I want to be with someone. Who Look at this chick. This chick is literally playing deep. Like you were like two years old when these movies came out. What the fuck, yo? Me and treats me well. And we can have all this empathy for black men. But at the end of the day, are they showing the same empathy for us? No, not only. <laughs> I don't know how long. I don't know. What, 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 what did she say? Uh, drop your roster in the comments of race, ethnicity, height, and age attacks. Are you messing with a swirl or do you prefer pistachio? This video got, this chick has 417,000 subscribers, by the way. The, kudos for her. Uh, this video has 1,500 comments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I already know where this is going, so we gonna have some fun with this. We gonna have some fun with this. By the way, may I remind you? I'm gonna say it from from me to you. This is just straight up. Black women, eighty percent of them, they don't like you. Eighty percent. I'm I, I'm probably sure it's more, but at least eighty percent of black women in this day and age, it don't matter how old or young they are. They have a so I, I so I want you to understand understand that so she's basically what she's saying she's just saying shit so I don't, I don't even need to take this shit like seriously she's just she's just talking she don't she don't know shit she's just talking her her experiences is, is basically middle school high school and maybe a little bit of college she don't know shit she has every right to her opinion her video people value it clearly with forty seven. and we're gonna go through the comments I'm not even I'm not mad in general but um. She don't know shit. And she has a right to put her stuff out there, but she don't know shit. Uh, and, and the issue that I even have is a greater thing with it is these women are allowed to not know shit until they're fucking 30, 35, because the other women aren't really checking them and really, um, really saying, look, you want to date white dudes? Cool. But white dudes don't give a fuck about this story. This fucking racial story, they don't care about. And when you go over there, bringing up race is a quick way for them not to deal with you. They literally wrote a book about what dealing with black women. They, they have in a chapter, the race thing is always going to come up. So just know. And when it comes up, you need to bounce. 
That's literally what they say. This program is, and yeah, and it's not even her. I don't see her as like, she is clearly an influencer. So yeah, she is repeating information that is not really based in context, even from a black female standpoint, because black men are not afraid. I, like fuck daily rap. Shout out to brother that got shot. I'm glad he's he's okay. But I'm I'm definitely willing to have a conversation about black women dating out. Like, cause real talk, I personally much prefer, and it's funny cause Grinch super chatted and Grinch was kind of talking about this. I may link his video. Y'all, I don't know if it's still live, but, um, he actually has, I think the last video, the only video is available on his channel, which is usually he keeps it one at a time. He actually talks about this, talks about how if black women are going uh, over, he said, just for the sake of argument, if black women are going overseas to find love, why are you niggas? threatened by that now let's be true the truth is they're not going overseas to find love they're going overseas in order to try to yank black men back that's really why they're going overseas i would prefer black women go overseas to find love because then it shuts down their ability talking to us doing it because they do it this is why i keep telling you all that you have to every passport bro or tribal conversation has to start with black women actually have bigger travel platforms than black men. Black women have been traveling. They've been taking the swirl tour. They've been going to Jamaica. They followed in behind a lot of white women. They trailblaze these places. They've been going to Ghana, Gambia, and all of that. They've been doing that. Our Kathy is in Africa. They've been doing that. I don't care about what you're doing. My thing is stop making a narrative as to why you do it because you're lying. See what the shit we're saying, what Passport Bro say about black women is the truth. That's the difference. I don't care about black women telling the truth on black men, but black women lie. They perpetuate narratives in order to justify their stuff. These guys don't give a fuck about your story. You taking it to Asia, Latin America, or um Europe with your 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 story, they don't care. They don't. And I'm going to keep it real. It's no different than if I was dealing with somebody from like Bosnia um, or somebody from like a Persian chick. I can empathize with it to a certain extent, but I don't care. I really don't. I, and I actually care more than most because I have a geopolitical context to things. But when people give you this, this story, even like Marty. Is down there in Brazil. You know, he's going literally to Samba schools, passing low key, like fourth world situations. We can empathize with it to a certain extent, but it's not like we're going to sit here and just save them. It's not. It is what it is. We, you know, we were born in America. They are in their situation. We deal with our brand of white supremacy. They deal with theirs. These are the same people that tell you they not black. They this, this, this color. So, I mean, it is what it is. And so the thing is, they take this this pursuit, this ain't I a woman shit, and they wrap it up in this civil struggle. This is what these women are on. They're not on we. They're on this womanhood, blackness, and their road to white womanhood. Black men don't have to give a fuck about that. That is a road that, that, that we are not to give any protection, provision, or anything from. You do that on your own. That's the difference. And so it's this thing where you're loyal to us. Not really. I mean, even in right now, it's disloyal to talk about dating another race of dudes. But you justify that by talking about this fake ass loyalty. Like literally you, black women have taken the children from black men. It is it is it is literally like almost dealing with a sex abuser talking about why did you make me do this? It is literally that bad don't even get me started on paternity fraud and that by the way every race Why? what's 17 more years i can always start again make another kid like literally the, like i always a paternity fraud are you fucking kidding me shout out to mr shane visit the five dollars make sure y'all support the cash app i guess black women with 200 bodies loyal if all 200 are black what's sad is many black black men that's that and that's why i'm talking about it because this is the perfect example of what a do here this is a very attractive young female has the braids and all of that and you hear this from her goofy niggas will actually be like oh you're right. I've literally seen. I literally saw it in. I think in that in that clip talk about it, man, nigga. I will go. I will go get the TikTok for this shit, and I will show you the comments from the TikTok for some of these goofy ass niggas. They were sitting here. They were literally. They were literally. Um. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. They were literally, 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 literally. Um. 
um, talking about, man, it's it's real messed up what y'all did to sisters. I can't believe that. Like hey, these dudes be believing it just because um they they like how she looks. So because they like how she looks, they're gonna believe everything that comes out of her mouth. Um, because it's that guilt thing. It's like that's problematic. Like y'all niggas are dumb. You supposed to understand this information for yourself. Hold on, because I'm going to find it. I know we jumping around. I may have to come back to this, because Lord knows I'm only through four minutes. People be like, oh, he's show me how you're triggered without being triggered. And by the way, Karen's is in the comment section, by the way. By the way. Let's get let's get, let's get through this before we go into the um comments. Always. We can make all these excuses, but are they making the same excuses for us? Because black women, we face not only racism, but misogyny as well. Misogyny noir. And I mean, this is just all of the stuff's like wrapped in. We and notice how she plays with that. Notice no I, I want you when you hear black women talk, I'm really not trying to cut this up. I'm really not. When you hear black women play with misogyny, misogyny noir, that's how I know you're not dealing with misogyny. That's how I know you really not dealing with misogyny. Your dad telling you you need to fucking be in a goddamn house uh, before 10 o'clock and you better not be fucking no dudes. That ain't misogyny. That ain't misogyny. You want to know what misogyny is? Misogyny is you say something I don't like and I'm able to grab you by the back of your fucking head and say, bitch, if you say that again, I'm going to fucking put my fist through your mouth. And ain't nothing and can't nothing be done the fuck about it. Because at the end of the day, I run my fucking house the way I run it. And you still under my roof. That's fucking misogyny. Misogyny on a more softer end is you get to a job. And rather than me going through all these examples that I'm going through to say why you're wrong, I just say you're a female, so you're dumb. The end. You're black. The black community is literally the less misogynistic community um, and it, because we're and when also when I hear that, we already know what it is. Women that say this. Oh, God, it can't be a gynocracy. It can't be a matriarchy because we're dealing with massage and war. Like, that's how, you know, you don't even hear white women say that. You know why? Because white women know what it is to deal with a good old boys club where white men code the fuck up and white men slut shame your ass um, and get your ass up out of there. You may get a little payoff, but like, look at what happened with Vince McMahon. They caught him now. Like white white women know what that, even though they're still white women, they know what that is internally when they got to deal with in their own group. Arab women know what that shit is. What are we talking about? Like, like this is crazy massage noir. Like, I don't understand. Like, y'all undermine your own argument when you say that. Anyway. And so we haven't been given excuses. We face you so haven't been given excuses so much discrimination and oppression in this world. Yet we have still managed to step up. And at this point, I'll perform black men and I'll get into. Uh, I want to see these statistics. I'm not even going. I want to see these outperform. Y'all don't outperform us in nothing but having kids. Y'all don't outperform us in shit. I want to see your statistics, though. I'm curious. Of that with education. And I mean, this this chick, I haven't heard an original thought from her yet. Income and things like that. But I really want to address the abuse that black women have faced. Black women swear that 92s are every The average black woman is a 92. They swear the average black woman is a 92. Like all I would ask her to kill that argument is how much money do black men, black women make on average per year? X. Do you know? Google it. How much money do black men make X per year? You don't know. Google it. You're done. You don't outmake us. We have more billionaires. By the way, no woman outpaces their men. But even in the black community, you don't make more money than us per average. You don't make money more money than us per average. You don't make money more as per us when it comes to the median. You don't make like clearly if you all are outperforming is why the fuck do y'all get welfare? Because a lot of black women's income is government uh, ran. You all don't make more. It's more black men that are six figures than you all are. It's way more black men that are millionaires than you all are. It's way more black. It's way more black men that are billionaires than you are. Like I don't. I don't know where you're getting this from. 
Where is it that you're getting this from that you all made? And then my question is, why in the hell are you asking for us to take care of everything? She mentioned the thing about 50-50. Why would you say that? Why the fuck wouldn't you pay 50-50 if you're outperforming us? Why? That's like me saying I make, you make 50. It's That's insane. Like even in her own arguments. Keep in mind, I'm, only, I'm, not, I'm not even five minutes in. I'm five and a half minutes in this video from black men themselves because unfortunately a lot of the hatred and the harmful stereotypes and negative messaging that we that we have received as black women when it comes to our desirability has come from our own men black oh! <laughs> i didn't know what i was getting into man i didn't know it'd be this much bullshit yo swp would have swp would have would have been like i'm glad my guns are in the lockbox <laughs> Because because SWP might just to stop his head from hurting, self delete. Like this is like this is crazy, you know. Because sexy red ain't involved, Megan the Stallion ain't involved, city good culture ain't involved, stripper culture ain't involved, you know. Um, and by the way, when the black men were doing, were rapping and stuff, y'all pushed it because Nicki Minaj had nothing to do with it, because Lil Kim had nothing to do with it, because all these women were coasting to doing this, you know. Because I don't need no man ain't doing nothing. Because world star hip hop and all these videos of shit y'all are doing, y'all act like like this like again. And and, and here's oh, man. Hey, I always, I, you always have to give them a fair shake. And the thing is, everything she's saying, that's the closest thing she probably came to an original thought. Because, you know, black women being fat as fuck is, is not their fault. Them not being in the gym is not their fault. As if black women don't pour. I mean, she's a very good representative of a black female, at least cosmetically and look wise. You think you seeing a chick that looks like her on TikTok or on YouTube? Are, are we fucking serious? Them defending single motherhood, them defending LGBT stuff, them defending T. Like, this is stuff they do on their own volition. Hell, Kevin Samuel's show was a recipe in black women getting up on there and making themselves look bad. Kevin didn't pay them for that. Anyway, I would love to see this chick talk to Jason Black women have been jumping through hoops to appease black men and to try to earn their love and their loyalty but we are never enough we're too dark or we're too loud we're too demanding what give me three examples give me two examples fuck three give me two examples of what you do to try to um get black man's loyalty i'm asking i don't maybe i'm stupid seriously and i'm even talking about the niggas you like the nigga, only the niggas you like. Fuck the niggas you don't want. Give me some examples. Give me some examples. I, I mean, I'm serious. I want to know these examples. These are never discussed. Never. We're ghetto. We're ratchet. We are all of these things. We expect you are. You all have definitely absorbed this culture so much so that other black women have had to actually start talking and calling it out because you're making other women, black women look bad. That's how serious it's gotten. It can't be ignored anymore. Too much. I love when I go on my TikTok and I go through my for you page. Notice how everything she's pulling is from TikTok. Keep that in mind. The place where the least amount of actual dialogue is going to happen, where it's the least amount of words get said, the least amount of thing, and then just go to the comment section. There's a reason for that. I see a bunch of black women with white men or whatever they call it, pasta lobster. Like, I love it because a lot of black men like to say, nobody wants you guys. You guys are undesirable. No man wants to deal with y'all's attitudes and y'all's anger issues. And Which is why I tell you niggas to stop saying that shit. Stop saying it because all because that you want to talk about pick me energy. It's don't leave. Pick me. No, you let them find out. Let them be a part of the Fafafo Club. Stop trying to save black women. If they find happiness, let them find it. Stop that shit. And like I said, um, Grinch talked about that shit on his thing. Stop. Stop reminding them. They're going to have to find that out on their own. And if they want to lie about it, let them suffer in the lies. Let them suffer in the weight of the lies. It shouldn't really concern you. That's why I tell y'all not to say that shit. Like, real talk. Like, divestment is an advertisement for white men. It has nothing to, it, well, I don't say it has nothing to do with you. Let them do that on their own. But what you're hearing when you hear these women, this is what actually being on social media and another shit really looks like.
these ideas. It's a reason they're on TikTok because black women be the most triggered on TikTok. Quiet it's kept. Between TikTok and Facebook, oh, you know. Yada, yada, yada. But then, and then they'll, tell, then they'll say, y'all have no other options. Nobody else wants y'all. But then I'm saying, on my timeline, literally, every time I go on my TikTok, I see a black woman with a white dude or Hispanic or whatever. So who? Maybe y'all wouldn't be this triggered if if it was that normalized for black women to deal with non-black men. Y'all wouldn't act the way y'all act. Y'all would just bounce. Cause my thing is, any chick you like, let me tell you something. Most divesters are still fucking niggas, and that's something that even Crystal and Karen had to call out. You got a lot of quote unquote mammies in the divestment community. Um, what was her name? Woman's fear. She was calling that out. Most of y'all are dealing with black dudes. Most of y'all are secret divesters because y'all are fucking cowards and you're scared because y'all know what time it actually is. So ain't nobody tell because the reason why black women love this narrative that black men are just trying to keep them in because it gives them an excuse. To, it's just like when somebody is trying to do business and they say, I don't have time. You need to make the fucking time. And then you find out they're on YouTube all day or doing something all day. No, you use this thing as an excuse. And when you take that away, something else is going to magically be an excuse. They know what they're doing. Like if they if, if they wouldn't give a fuck about passport bros as much if um if if they actually weren't threatened by that real fucking talk. They wouldn't. And and by the way, y'all wouldn't be taking y'all ass overseas, the few y'all to do if y'all didn't um didn't care. It's one thing it's, anyway. It's y'all that don't want us. They want us to believe that nobody else wants us and we're just so undesirable. Black men have been Yeah, because that's that's because that's work. That's what's kept black women cause and it's also this narrative that black women don't be under on, on the low fucking non black men. Like it, it's it's you have to believe that black like it's crazy. It's really a a these conversations were had in the nineties. Your parents had these conversations. So we already know that these are not alien to y'all. Like stop that shit. Like really emasculated by white supremacy and sometimes they yeah we've the been so emasculated by white supremacy that that um we, we, in fact if anything black men have been made to be extreme masculine masculine because this is what justifies harming us you don't emasculate you don't masculate a threat the purpose like you talk about oh my god this is this is a lot their sensitivity around their masculinity onto black women. Black women are black men don't have sensitivity around their masculinity. Y'all have sense. This is project like you are projecting like a motherfucker. Black men are not out here talking about colorism. Y'all, black women are not out here wearing blind weave or trying to be a white dude. Black men don't try even black men that are squares don't try to be white men. We don't. That's part of why white men don't like black men like that. Other groups actually try to be them. We typically don't. This is such a projection, man. With the consequences of that. And we're always in this game of, of trying to be feminine enough for black men, but also providing for them at the same time. And it's You're providing for black men? What the fuck are you talking about? Man, I'm trying, y'all, man. I'm trying. This, this is like this. I'm going to tell you this. She ain't even the worst one. She's just repeating shit. I don't put her with Devessa Zealot in that. She's just repeating shit on a big platform. But like real talk, this is why I'm not over there, man. Because I promise you, if she would have came over here, fuck me, because y'all know how I am. If she would have talked to BGS, Dennis Sperling, lead attorney, um, um, anybody, fuck me, anybody, um, she would sound stupid as shit. Bernard, she would sound dumb as fuck. I know I can be a firebrand, whatever. If she talked to anybody and said this shit actually across from another dude, I would love to see her. I would, you know what? I would love to see her be on um Daily Rap. I would love her to talk to Anton or better yet, talk to the Daily Wrap Up crew. She got enough subscribers for that. She'd be doing them a favor. And I would love her. These are the type of people that y'all need to try to get and drop her some money. It's worth it. Let her say this stuff. She needs to talk to um Obi. This is a chick where you need to talk, but see, she's got too big of a platform. You got to give it some paper. Like, I want, this is who I want to see come in here and rattle that shit off. 
even the dudes that'll give you Mr. Let Go would be a good dude too. Cause the shit that she's saying, this shit is in a else world. This is every literally every out of ten things, nine of the things she has said is an absolute lie. I'm still waiting for those statistics. Contradictory and confusing. Listen, a, a lot of women, especially black women, and I'm probably getting in trouble for saying this. Oh, of course, of course. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now what this is. She doesn't know what she's talking about, and she's an influencer. With that chick Hotep Mimi was saying in art stuff, this is what an influencer is. She actually doesn't understand the information. She Googled a little bit of information and putting stuff together, and then she knows how to present well. I'll give her that. But I can tell this information, she doesn't She doesn't really know it. And this is she doesn't know it. I can tell. She just she basically put this shit together like a marketer, and she's getting into this. I don't want to dig too much in her channel, but I, I can already tell. In, in our society right now, mm-hmm. black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men, right? There are a lot of black. This is, this was a lie. This was a lie. This wasn't true. This isn't true. This isn't true. And, and it, it was successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job, yeah, MTR would be MTR would actually be great. MTR would actually be great. You know who else would also be good if I really wanted to jam her up? Saint in the center, even though I can't stand him. He would actually be good too. But the problem is he would be he would low key be little hurt. MTR would actually be really good. Poor man's podcast would actually be really good as well, because I believe he's married. And he's not African American, so he doesn't have the same the ish. And is a good man and is good to you mm-hmm. and honors and honors. Honestly, Shay Charday would be good as well the house and honors his wife and does what he can mm-hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift exactly that is okay mm-hmm. that's not somebody this who's... this is like retarded like this th- this is why like the fact that tyler i could slap the shit out of tyler perry for saying some stupid shit like this because he he knows this shit like who the fuck are these bitches fucking like like to be in this situation what are you talking because the way he's talking I want you to understand what he's saying. He's not just talking about black women make more. He's talking like these niggas don't have their own apartments or cars. You're talking about baby boys. You're talking about niggas that live with their moms. That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about, oh, a chick makes 200 and he's just a plumber and he makes like 70. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about dudes that literally cannot take care of themselves without a black woman present. That's what this is. It's not that beneath you yeah that's somebody who came to love you at your work mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right yeah and as long as he's secure in himself to know that yep she makes most of the money all i can pay is the light bill as long as she's all you can pay is the light bill this like like what what this chick living it like this level of bullshit is crazy like this is crazy and what's crazy is Issa ray she got her Issa ray make more money than the dude she with but the dude that she with make like 250k plus and is in banking so he clearly can move her money in the stuff like this is crazy yo well enough to say i'm gonna cover the mortgage and all the other stuff you tend to light bill babe you can take me to dinner every now and then mm-hmm. that is fine yeah this whole light bill conversation is nothing new black women have been discussing their counterparts trying to lowball them of course melissa melissa ford is a foreign chick herself but again melissa ford is a gynocrat that's that's who melissa ford is and that's why it's part of why she's on um joe button's channel you know, to, to make it so black women still pay attention. They'll watch for her and her saying stupid stuff, but whatever. For the last 40 years in their novels, Jill Nelson, Terry McMillan, Benil Little. They're novels. Novels. A novel is fiction. Keep that in mind. Fiction. Tyler, um, Tyler Perry. Fiction. But Color Purple is based on a true story, y'all. Oh, Gloria Naylor. Pearl Clegg have been talking about this since the 1980s. You know, these guys have been coming with these very clever lines, whining since the end of slavery. Do you understand how fucking dumb black women, you have to believe black women have a low IQ. So that means you're saying since the 80s, so you're saying for 40 years, black females have been just knowingly getting with niggas that don't got no money. And I'm to believe that they're getting with niggas they're not sexually attracted to. What you telling me is black women been simping. This is, this is, you know what a pick me does? Pay. That's what they do. That's what this is. 
And by the way, you know what else is not being said with this? A lot of them dudes be very be a lot younger than these chicks too, because them niggas ain't bringing nothing to the table either. Baby boys, does that sound familiar? Pretty, pretty much. Oh my god, I can't possibly do all the things that all the other men do. It's unreasonable. Seventy percent of white women work. That's not true. Seventy percent of white women work. Hispanic women work. Most of your McDonald's is, is what, what are you talking about? Asians work. You think Asian women go to school to, and not go to school to actually get a job? What are you talking about? Expect it because slavery and discrimination and Jim Crow. And yep. yet your dumb ass still fucks these niggas. So y'all, what y'all telling me, y'all like fucking bums. That's really what that is. Because my thing is, if you hear niggas saying dusty talk, you get away from that dude and go on to the next dude. If that's your standard. But that's not your standard. You like how he looks, so you make the exception. Tell the whole, you notice how they never say that either. They never say he was six foot. He was fine as hell. And that's why they had their kid. That never gets said. It's always they were tricked. But they're the most educated though. They think it's perfectly reasonable to expect black women to fulfill all these feminine requirements. You want submission. You want the house clean. You want all the child rearing. Black men are not asking for that. Shut the fuck up. Black men do not ask for all of that. Y'all need to stop saying that. Black men, it is statistically, it is shown. Even white feminists will tell you that black men are the most, um, uh, what is it called? It? Agrarian type of men out here. We are literally like the most especially in the West. We are more likely to do all these things and contribute to all these things, which is why we're also shown to be one of the best fathers than any of these dudes. We're more likely to do it. You're projecting how other dudes move and say what we're doing. Most all of your your welfare law, black women didn't have access to welfare at first or social security. It used to be you had to be married because welfare was really because a lot of black, white men were uh, piecing out on their women. Why? Because of the Great Depression. That's where the origin of a lot of this alimony and bullshit comes from. This is not true. What you're saying is a lie. Now, I know this is like a clip, but th th they're li that's what I'm telling you. They're lying. Now, this other chick is repeating lies. This chick is actually labor lying. Done, and you also expect us to go out and work. And now it's gotten even worse. What fucking, like, you notice how they never talk in their, this was never something they brought up with Kevin in real time. You have never heard this brought up with Kevin, brought up with Mr. Let Go brought up with Jason Black. What she's doing, she's lying. Most of you, let's be real here. Most of you bitches can't cook anyway. You don't know how. So that's how I know you're not doing it. Most of you women can't clean anyway. You don't know how. That's why you're messy as fuck. You all are talking about shit you don't do because you don't know how. That like that's what's crazy to me. Most of y'all don't know how to fold clothes. Y'all don't know. Most of the men actually understand how to do domestic work than you all do because we got to do it for ourselves. I mean, for real. Now, this chick is actually talking in the video. The main video is she looks like she was raised right. I'll give her that. But real talk, I did, but she can know how to be clean and not cook. This is why y'all always talk about going on dinners and shit because y'all don't know how to cook. What the fuck are you talking about? First, I think this was their plan all along. Now they want us to pay to have them in our lives. We were expected to subsidize these men. Like, we do not also face discrimination. Now we're expected to do, like, this, this, these, like, this is, even Iana Van Zam would call bullshit on this. Even Iana Van Zam would call bullshit on this. Even Karazin would call, now, granted, Karazin is in the, um, by the way, for y'all that don't believe me, here go Karazin. Thank you for posting my book in a thumbnail. I'm Crystalline Caravan, the author of Swirling, my true hope for more expand their does all dating black men. Look, look at her. And this is Karazin. This is Karazin. Let me let me triple check so I'm not spreading slander. Yes, this is Crystalline Karazin, who by the way ain't even at a hundred thousand yet. Pig Pill, I I Oh my god, man. This is some funny shit, yo. I didn't even know why I got in. I didn't, wow. I'm all for black women dating outside their race. I really am. I'd rather them do that than run their mouth about us. Because, but the thing is, 
that's not really what the real issue is, and, is it? And whatnot, and trying to find and maintain work and getting an education and making money. I think it's interesting, you know, being a baby mama is very prevalent within the black community. That's where the phrase com comes from in the first place. And it's a very interesting place to be. You have bared the child of a man who will not who will not commit to you. And they think that's oh, because you like how he looks and you like that dick. Say that. Stop lying about that. And you basically decided to force him to commit by get, letting him nut in you and have his kid. Yeah, he nut in you. He's a moron himself. But you per you remember what she said. You're a baby mama by a nigga that can't take care of you or take care of itself. You knew that shit up the front. You also knew that you liked how he looked. What this is saying is y'all a boy crazy and y'all don't know how to handle it because y'all weren't taught to. That's a choice. That's a series of choices. That's not black man's fault. 54% of black men don't have kids. Y'all are sharing niggas. These are the facts that also can be statistically proven. And by the way, like 45% of white women are single mothers. So that's growing. So this idea that that's unique to black men, shit. And the Hispanic community is off the chains too, especially outside of the United States. Well, that's enough. That should be enough. I'm not going to give her the commitment of being her husband and caring for her and making that women don't black women don't want to be married. That's a lie. Black women don't want to be married. And for you to have a baby by somebody, you keep saying you want to have the baby first, then get the commitment The commit marry before you carry. Even Karazin will say that the problem Karazin will say, don't give him the womb without a ringer or a ring. No ring, no room, no finger, no ring, no room. But black women don't want to do that. See, this is why black women stay repeating cycle. This is a mentally transmitted disease. And, and this is it's great that she wrapped all this bullshit up in a this is what these younger chicks are on, yo. A lot of them. A lot of them. Because they're in these silos. So when you see this shit, you don't see motherfuckers just repeating red pill shit. This is literally everything one by one by one commitment to my baby mama but also this child and the reason why i say you know it's different to see a black woman with a white man compared to the inverse is that a lot of black I'm, I'm glad okay i'm glad that you're actually going to explain it i appreciate that i appreciate that because most women are cowards in doing that all right so what we're going to do is we're going to play respect to this because i don't want to just glaze by that because i want to know i legit am curious as to your reason we're going to slow this down We're going to slow this. And do not go in her comment section talking shit. That's not what this is for. Okay? Do not do that. She already got 1,500 comments and, and cares. And, and do not do that. And, and, you know, I don't promote y'all doing that anyway. And um, So we're going to slow this down. And I want to hear it. And I won't cut her off. I'm caring for her and making that commitment to my baby mama while also this child. And the reason why I say, you know, it's different to see a black woman with a white man compared to the inverse is that a lot of black men who only date white women oftentimes will say why they date white women in contrast to why they don't date black women and it feels like oh god i should end the video right here i should end the video. first of all okay we're gonna okay so she did okay so she said that she, the reason why it's different is because white men, black men that say they only, date, first of all, it's very few black men that truly only date white women and is just not open to any black woman. And notice how they always say white women. Your seg oh, Hispanic women are a much bigger sexual threat than, than white women are actually. So when y'all only say white women, very few, see y'all, see women make the assumption that any black man with a white woman only dates white women. This is the, 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 the shit that's built on, which is BS, which is BS. And to give her some leeway, and because I remember when Dinus was talking about what he was on when he was younger. And dudes do be on some of that, but a big reason too, this idea that y'all, first of all, even if you look at how she looks, the typical African-American chick, even the above average African-American women do not look like she looks. And I'm not even talking about attractiveness. I'm just talking about being put together and not looking like she'd have had like a hundred bodies. 
most of these chicks are loyal to city girl culture. And even the chicks did they can dress well, mentally are loyal to that culture, which is why they try to bridge the gap a lot. And that's the attitude a lot of dudes don't like. It's the culture of how black women are that black men don't like. And even if they can't put their finger on it, it's really gynocratic, matriarchal. And if you look at everything she did, she basically justified gynocracy. In her mind, black women, she don't even look like she um she comes from a single mother house. She doesn't look like that. Her house doesn't look like her room doesn't look like that. Yet in her mind, her mom is doing more. It's just the offsetting of it. Anyway, let's see. I can't believe she put out. Like I said, this is how she's an influencer. She's basically just pulling a whole bunch of bullshit together. Um, th This isn't organic. So let's see what he has to say. Too many black men who date out make it their entire personality. And can because black men do that, not black women. OK, not go five minutes without telling the world how much better white women or Latino women are compared. To SYSBM doesn't even do that that much. And that's what their movement is built on culture over race. SYSBM doesn't even do that. That's no what it is, is that's what y'all look for. And y'all get hyper triggered every time you hear it. That's what that is. Kevin, they wish for Kevin Samuels death and Kevin Samuels married two black women. To black women. And this is probably the most prominent point of conflict of interracial relationships for black people. I don't date black women now because of past experiences they like to place that strong personality look look yana van zandt like look at where they're pulling this shit from notice she ain't pulling this shit from podcasts or like videos like mtr daily rap Crew. crew. she ain't put notice she ain't pulling it from purple pill this is strategic what she's doing yeah i know you know those podcasts if you're engaging in this stuff on you and, and sometimes you just kinda... this is from the OO network of course they always frame it oh man just like you know stand a woman's place so do this is and obviously it's a light it's got to be a light-skinned nigga right this is so like oh man do you have any idea why you're here we oh, share we share some of the same opinions opinions about why are black women so angry and so these black first of all <sighs> This is a TV. Oh, my God, man. I told y'all they get most of their data, their shit from media. I told y'all that, man. I told y'all. Like, I told y'all that, yo. Like, this is this is all a silo. Remember what I told you? How to, that shit is so much bigger than black men. She has 470,000 subscribers. You got Angry Man, you got MTR, Poor Man. You only got a handful. She would be low key upper, but mid upper tier. She's not even the highest I've seen. Black men who will say these derogatory things towards black women. Asking why black women are angry is not derogatory. It's a legitimate question. That's number one. Number two, saying you talk about stay in a woman's place. He's basically saying you're being masculine. It's not. He's saying you're playing out of position. That's no different. That's like me saying you're saying derogatory shit by saying that black men are are, are broke and black women and make more money. It's derogatory because it's a lie. It's not true. But the stuff he was saying has even black women acknowledge um the truth of it to a certain extent. Now they try to have wise behind that, but they acknowledge that it happens. I don't know why y'all trying to act like y'all are just these feminine demure like snow of uh, these you know snowflakes that motherfuckers just slap you and then in private and then in public when you lash out it's just like literally she's talking like she lived the color purple existence men to explain why they date white girls are really telling on themselves because they are dating white women as a way to increase their proximity to whiteness and to that's no black men don't care about that black no that's all any black woman it says that I automatically no you don't know what you're talking about if you notice that is an intersectional feminist trope you notice how shaharazad ali never said that you never hear anybody that understands black people to say that black men don't want to be white men Men compete. 
black men don't want to be white men. Black men don't really look for white status. Other even Hispanic men, they want to get white status. They don't necessarily want to be white men. His you know, notice how Asian men, Hispanic, all like black men are more different than any of those other groups. Yet even those groups aren't trying to be white. This this is a this is a projection. You all want white womanhood. Y'all want to be white women. Black men don't even want white status. Black men want e equal an equal shake. That's a different thing. Lamar Jackson doesn't want to be a white man. Lamar Jackson just wants to be a quarterback. It's a problem because he's a black dude. Further themselves from their black identity. Because, because you know, black women aren't like that. You know, because weave doesn't exist. Blonde hair doesn't exist. What I would ask is, show me how black men remove their blackness outside of fucking a white bitch. Because again, black men don't get, black men don't really Black men don't control sexual access. So, and see, this is this is how you know this is always from a woman's perspective because women control their own sexual access. Men have to sleep with who wants to fuck them, and we have a drive to do so. So if women, for whatever reason, this idea that most black women are available to most black men is not true. It's not. And they frame this like every black man is like an eight and up, and they just don't pick black women. Like, these narratives are crazy to me. Anyway, what are y'all talking about? Yeah, I'm just commenting on it. Yeah, and sheltered is not a bad thing. But the reality is we had a situation on Bernard Riley's show and Lil Big Nate was on there. Well, it was a chick that was talking the same way. And you turn out her mom was off the chains. And her father basically fought Thanos to save her from being like her mom. Her mom was bisexual. Her mom was just not a good mom. It was other stuff she was doing. It was crazy. Because they hate their black identity. The black men who black men don't hate their black identity. In fact, other um other black women that don't like black men will actually tell you that black men are promoted more than black women, which is part of the problem. Even Chrissy will say that. Black men don't hate our black identity. Like this, this really this sounds like some shit. That, like you're you're in like Europe trying to talk about us, and you're not, you don't grow up here. Like what black like give me an example of a black man not liking his identity other than fucking a white bitch. Like like and notice how it's always white. Who talk down to dark skinned black women are usually other dark skinned men. I just said I don't like women with my complexion. I like like Oh my god, you Kodak Black kisses his mom on the lips. You really are using Kodak Black in this example. So you telling me Kodak Black is the average dark-skinned black man. Are you fucking serious? Light-skinned woman. I want you to be lighter than me. I love African-American women, but I just don't like my skin complexion. There's a, but he says that. That's him. And Oh, my God, man. Black black people, my, my complexion, we too good. Light-skinned women, they more sensitive. You know? There's some dark-skinned women out here sensitive. No, 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 they too tough. The they only reason why people give a fuck about Kodak Black is because Kodak Black is a rapper, and he's pretty successful at it. Kodak Black kissed his mom and on the lips and grabbed his mom's ass like a thought in the street. This is the guy that you're serving as a standard. You'll be hard-pressed to even get boozy badass to say some stupid shit like that. It's too tough. Light skinned women, we could break them down more easy. Now, light skinned women, we could break them down more easy. Light skinned women, we could break them down more easy. Ew. Consider that New Year's resolutions are not the answer for you this year. You need real solutions, and therapy can help with that. Yeah, I'm As sure it can. I'm sure it can. See, again again at YouTube time. know what I need January after listening around, to this. I need a white. I need a white. I need a white. I need a white chick and some therapy. Good YouTube, that's that algorithm. They said, Look, man, you need some help. I got you. Black women serve as a mirror to black men, but they don't like what they see in their reflection. So Did I not tell y'all this? Did I not tell y'all what she's saying? This is straight up projection. This is straight up projection, yo. So they will find partners who allow them to hide from themselves so they can feel good. So they don't have to look at themselves for who they truly are. So they can feel like I'm, I'm these, By the way, these are the same niggas that now we're being called sassy uh, and we want to be taken care of.
Right. These are the same people on TikTok saying that shit too, right? These are the same motherfuckers that when they say black men is a prize, see, notice how ain't nobody talking about no Jonathan Owens. When was this video made? This video was made two days ago. Notice how ain't nobody talking about no Jonathan Owens getting with Simone Biles. Notice, nah, you know, that don't, ha- that don't count. Because I'm with a white woman or even a light-skinned woman. I've also noticed that a lot of the time in black TV shows or movies, the woman is typically the lighter skinned one in the couple and the husband is darker skinned. Because- yeah, but black men don't control that. That's not something black men control. OK, and that's not always true. That's not always true. Um, It's not always true. It wasn't true for um everybody hates Chris. It wasn't true for the original. Um, What's called it? social? You can't. And again, if y'all want dark skinned women, y'all need to demand that shit. The problem is you don't get, let me tell you something. You don't get to say that um, Meghan Markle is black when she says she's biracial and then complain about that. You really don't. And quiet as it's kept, this chick is, 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 is definitely in the middle. So again, it's always a lighter. Again, this is sexual politicking. This is all that is. Black men are not 100 percent in control of these um of these situations. They're not. And so it's always like yeah. is to be light skinned is to be more feminine and to be dark skinned is to be more Martin light. Lawrence was not controlling the cast of that show. That was white the same white men y'all run into, particularly the chosen ones, or a few ones that pick y'all are the ones doing that. Masculine. The beauty standard within the black community is having light skin. They make it sound see the way she's arguing is that if we're in a patriarchy, but somehow black women are paying black men like we're women. This is this is the insanity of what she's saying, even in the twelve minutes we've watched. With good this. hair, aka a loose curl pattern or straight hair. And if black men, if if they wanted the forcey hair and the dark skin, that would be the beauty standard within the black community. Women wouldn't be getting silk presses and bust down wigs because or lightening their skin. It's not this a- is this. I'm going to do a topic because it's a trending topic and I know people are going to talk about it and just say the basic bullshit um, in this topic. Poor man does this, but poor man has an understanding of the material a lot more so he can weave into it. Um, she's presenting well, but ultimately this is like if you were talking to a white person and and you were giving them a, a light negro uh introduction into the topic this nothing she's saying is organic this is all shit that's been debunked like we debunked this shit's been debunked for 10 years it really has like and and and, and what these motherfuckers don't understand is when you do this stupid shit all you're really doing is trapping you all in the same narrative at the end of the day black women even z's once z's realize what the fuck is up they go bring their ass back and try to sell their ass back to black men because um they they know what's up. They go and so I'm I'm not even sweating. That's why I say I want more of y'all to date them so we can stop playing these games like uh this kind of in and out bullshit. That's what I don't like. The in and out shit. You see. I don't know if we're going to get through this, man, because this, this is a lot of bullshit, you know. It's common in the U.S. anymore, but that wouldn't happen if that was what black men overtly desired. Uh, the majority of black men, I'm not saying all black men, that was what, because, or lightening their skin, it's not as common in the U.S. as in bust down wigs, because, or lightening their skin, it's not as common standard within the black community. Women wouldn't be getting silk presses and bust down wigs because or lightening their skin. It's not as common in the U.S. anymore, but that wouldn't happen if that was what black men overtly desired. Uh, the majority of black men. I'm you not know, the, the, the thing about her is in a dark and when you look at darkism, you would be a problem too. to, to Rashida Schrober, you're light skin. Like you always light skin to a darker skin chick. So all this, bu- and then so like you, like, like I said before, this is the same video where she put Meghan Markle up as a black woman. This is the crazy shit that they do. Like, for instance, is it black man's fault that Glorilla is light skin, Ice Spice is light skin, Car- y'all claim Cardi B is black, Megan is, is the same complexion as you. These are the people, Sweetie, Doja Cat, Doja Cat is more of a mixed audience, but these are the people you all uplift. This is who you uplift. Black men ain't got nothing to do with a lot of these people. 
all black men. But Armani ain't being put up there because y'all not really um promoting her shit like that. That that's a fact, yo. Beyonce, she's more mainstream appeal. Y'all didn't black women didn't rally around Kelly Rowland. Let's be real about that. Afrocentric features attractive, but you know what I'm saying here. And so it's funny I'm even saying that, like the bust down wig and the straight hair, because I've heard a lot of black men say they don't like girls who wear wigs and they don't want this and that. And I've talked about this before where men think they want something when really they want something else. They just want the illusion of it. You know, they want the illusion of natural beauty, even if it's not natural. They, they, they want, you see how she's telling men what we want. We want the illusion of natural beauty like this. Wow. I'm going to give this a couple more minutes and we're going to go through the comments because this is crazy. Even if you are wearing makeup or you have lash extensions or you have extensions or a wig, they don't really care that much as long as they can't tell. But God forbid that you let that man touch your scalp and it's all over. You know, like they don't want to grow. No, the problem the problem is dudes don't want to enter a long term relationship where you don't have proper hair care. And, and the reality is that that shit creates hair degradation. And not only that, you pass that on to a kid that you potentially have because if you have a daughter. You start passing on those same traits. But y'all don't give a fuck about that because it's our opinion. And by the way, this is the same. Like, do not believe that white men are going to accept any of that shit. You think white men are going to accept y'all wearing weeds and all that shit? Like, that's, that's, see, she's gotten more, see, notice how this video has gotten past, you know, basically, well, we dating white men because black men ain't shit. Like, white men are going to accept this shit. Like, when you look, think about it, this shit, they talk about pasta and lobster, that's a ghetto term, analogy. A bitch saying it that way doesn't usually belong in that situation of getting, quote unquote, pasta and lobster. They don't belong in that situation. Like it, it, it's like it's like this fucking pretty woman movie, but let's put in a ratchet black chick, and it's this white man, and because he's white, she's not ratchet anymore. It's ratchet. Think about it. that was said in a hip hop context. Like, like, ah, uh. forcey hair, but they get mad if you're wearing a wig. You can never win. There was a creator on TikTok named Lip Gloss, and she has been driven off the internet because of hateful black men who are constantly. Oh. We ain't drove none of like we have not drove none of these people off of TikTok. Trust or trying to drag her. One video that went viral of hers, especially on Twitter, was where she was like coming out her natural hair and she made an offhand comment. It was very like off the cuff random, but she was like, I only pull white guys when my hair is natural like this. Outfit on. Let me tell you right now, I can only pull white boys with this hair. But I'm not mad, to be honest. Anyways, and all these black men got in a hissy fit. And it's like, yeah, you're black men ain't checking for her anyway, not because she's dark. But look, man, look at that. She got on. She got on TikTok and Twitter. Like, I want you. <sighs> this is the delusion that these chicks are in, yo. Where, where is this at? All these black men got in a hissy fit. And it's like, yeah, you're of hers, especially on Twitter off the cuff random. But she was like, I only pull white guys when my hair is natural like this. Outfit on. Let me say right now. I can only pull white boys with this hair, but I'm not mad, to be honest. First of all, Twitter is the domain of um, Twitter is the domain. And quite frankly, TikTok is more of a, dom a female domain anyway. So any dudes dragging them off, that's 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 cap. Especially if she's an influencer like that's cap. But all right, as the young folks say, I just I just want to show this just just to show you an example. But OK. Whatever you say. Anyways, and all these black men got in a hissy fit and it's like, yeah, you're mad because, you know, she's right. Like where where's the Yeah, I know she's right. Where's the screenshots? Like because we usually put screenshots and stuff like that. And also you're mad because other men are giving her attention for her natural beauty, for being who she is. She's being validated by other men for accepting herself for who she is at her natural state. And All right, so why don't she got a white boyfriend then? Why don't she got a white boyfriend then? Like, seriously. Why don't they got an interracial page? If it's all these white men, sure, you can find one uh, in a racial page. Mad because you have been trying to force black women into this box to be this performance of femininity that you want that doesn't align with blackness. To put it simply, black women have been told that they are undesirable by black men and no one wants us. When in reality, that's not true. And she is proving that. They were so upset that they created- this. This is their civil rights. 
and, and and this isn't like the the straight up naker, you know, I want to see bullet bags divestor talk, but she has 470,000 subscribers. I want y'all to really really understand how prominent this is. Like that's the thing that a lot of y'all don't be understanding. And I don't really this is Mr. Z's territory to be honest with you. I stay out of this shit because this is a fucking rabbit hole like a motherfucker. This is what you're dealing with. You're not changing this shit. You're not changing this mentality. Now you see, like, I want you to understand, like, and this is what I would tell somebody like Obi Allen. Obi Allen think because he got 60, maybe 70,000 subscribers and you're having these, these interviews with these females. This is shit that they're constantly hearing. Constantly on a never ending basis. She's one of the more lighter channels on this, but 470,000. This video had 1,500. We'll, we'll click on her other stuff to see what she has. And 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 my thing is, if, if non-black folks want y'all this bad, black women are like 7% of the population. Why isn't that y'all just bounce? I want them to leave so bad. And that's why I keep saying y'all need to encourage them to date out and look at these. Look at look at this shit. I know it ain't just look at her pictures, man. Fair track to women with that skin tone. I'm talking about the clothes. These are the clothes she put out on pictures. On social media. These are the this is what she's showing. This ain't what I went and dug up, which I'm not created a fake hinge profile with her pictures to try and prove if her claims were true. Like obsessed. Get a job. OK, good, good, good job for doing. OK, good job for doing screenshots. I did want the screenshots. I wasn't just saying that. Oh, damn. A virgin moon. I fucking love her. I also create a black profile in less than 24 hours. She's a mask close to 1500 black men interests using the very same pictures she stated black men didn't like yeah niggas are thirsty but she already knew this most black women know this but they push the narrative that's patently false so i did experiment i took her current pictures from her tiktok and started a dating profile on hinge and black women here is experiment on the site okay so first of all you don't know who the fuck them niggas is and you also don't don't um but um, understand that a lot of dudes will see her as accessible. Yeah, I could hit that, which is going to get her um, getting a lot of those. So her getting a whole bunch of niggas, niggas fuck anything anyway. Niggas fuck anything anyway. So that don't change shit. I'd also like to include that dating apps really aren't indicative of what people find attractive. Or exactly. Exactly. And also, she needed to point that out because that also goes against the narrative that goes against the narrative that black men don't like dark skinned women. So, of course, we can't hold that because you just spent 10 minutes pushing that bullshit. What the real world truly is like. Because she literally just killed her narrative. She literally killed her narrative by posting that. You do realize that, right? A lot of black women that come to me and say, well, the data says that black women online send the most messages and get the fewest responses. No, 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 no. That was one piece of data from OkCupid. 15 years ago yeah. that got reprinted and, and, and repeated and repeated. And then people started to believe it. And yeah, like, if and that internalize is true, it. we internalize yeah. it. And if that is true, then how have I helped this many black women find love? I can speak from personal experience. Yo, you can say you've helped black women find love. And then Rebecca Lynn Pope will tell you the same the shit on the opposite side. I mean, you just saying that you could say that you, many black men, women could be like three, three or four. I have had no issues getting dates as a black woman and women, black women are, are starting to become well aware of this. But you just said earlier in the video that black women have all this oppression. You're killing your own argument. Reality and the way that we have been neglected and sometimes even abused by our own men, by black men. Oh my God, neglected, but you don't have a problem getting dates though. What the fuck? <sighs> And we no longer can accept it. And we've been loyal to them. But if we want to find love, if we want to find a partner who accepts us and loves find us. Find it. Find it. I swear to God, I wish black men would run a campaign to push black women into dating. Uh, white, white men is who they really want. Her only really difference is she's like date everybody. 
I'm really I wish I wish we could just eliminate this whole tech. I wish we could tell look, y'all need to stand down for like um a year and we need our opportunity to really promote black women dating now. We really need to. Like, and I'm I'm talking about dragging their ass, kicking and screaming. It's no longer an option. Fuck your body, your choice. You're done. That's that's where I'm at with it. Anybody that wants to leave, you're out. Not no, it's not a choice anymore. Cause I'm really tired of this. This con- cause most of these chicks will say this shit still fucking niggas. And so, and the reason why I'm saying that is because black men are like they see black men as placeholders until they can find this magical prince from Disney, um, a Disney movie. And y'all need to stop accepting that. That's why Only Logical had to even do that video on Kelly Rowland. We can't minimize our dating pool to such a small, small percentage of the population. Many black women feel they should marry down before they marry out. I explained in the book why black women should not be pressured to sacrifice their own chances for happiness out of some misplaced loyalty to black men. Nor should black women feel beholden to black men under the- We're still talking about this shit in 2024. These 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 books are like teen. This stuff is old, yo. The guise of advancing the race. If the price of racial solidarity is a bad, intimate relationship, then the cost is too high. Black women should not be held hostage to the struggles of black men. And the truth is, black women, if black women really feel that black men are the reason why they're not desiring we're lying then black women should actively encourage black men to date outside their race because by that logic if black men date outside their race black men can't talk about black women dating outside their race it frees you up from the guilt but black women don't see it that way because they know this is what she's saying is bullshit so like i said only dating black men really minimizes your dating pool by a lot let's get into some statistics okay so the gender ratio is already very skewed for every 88 black male adults there are 100 black women so black women outnumber black men by a lot the ratio for this is number one 88 for 88 male adults there are for every 100 black women that's a 12 percent difference that's not that bad what are you talking about especially when you account for 80% 80% of black women are overweight, 50% of them are obese. We're, we're not accounting for age. By the way, younger black, the, the actual racial, the actual gender population doesn't start to diverge until you get like north of 25. So while you are in your prime, it's still basically 50-50. It starts to diverge as we get older, as men go through more shit and men die earlier. So that's bullshit as far as dating. Where have all the black men? I mean, this is straight up bullshit. Like 97 white males. There are 100 white women. That's it's- not true. That's it, So pull that statistic up. She said, okay, though, that's where it is. While ratio for 100 whites is more equal. What are you talking about? This is not accounting for sexual orientation. This is not accounting for STDs. This is not, this is not accounting for so uh, economics. How many are six feet or five? Like this is what are you talking about? A significant amount of black men are unfortunately in prison. In oh prison. my God! Three, one in three black men from the age of eighteen to twenty-four were in prison 10, 15 years ago. That is not true. And 6% of working age black men were, were in prison and are in prison or actively in prison is not the same thing. And by the way, a lot of these niggas get babies somehow. 13, about 6% of working age black men were in state or federal prison or in a municipal jail. This was three times higher than the 2% of all men in the same age group. Despite recent declines in prison populations, disparities remain massive. African-American males are imprisoned in state and federal Because you know black women aren't in jail at all. You know, black women are not in prison more than any other racial group, right? Innovation doesn't happen on its own. It needs leaders at six times the rate of white men and about 25 times that of black women yeah that's called racism and the reason why it's 25 times the rate of black women is because the law is not really designed to hold black women accountable women commit crime they typically don't go to jail for it that's why and then we can get into education black women outnumber educated black men there are more educated black women in america than educated black men that's true for every race Black women are more educated, making up 29% of the 25 plus year old black people with bachelor's degrees, whereas black men make up only 22%, which doesn't sound significant, but when you think about it, it's not, it's not significant at all, especially when you consider, I want you to understand something. So go look at how many black men are represented in trades that make 60,000, 50,000, reason I say 50,000, because that's the average with white men make 
go add in how many black men make trades, black men that make trades, black men in the military that has benefits and economic prowess. Having a degree is not an example of necessarily economic prowess. So we make up for that. So we don't need degrees like y'all need it because y'all not making y'all can't make money, significant money unless y'all get a degree or entrepreneurship. So if you all are not in degrees or making or selling anything, you all cannot make money. So you need the degree. So honestly, the truth is that's actually kind of pathetic, especially when you look at all of the economics. Affirmative action has benefited women a lot more because women can operate as a double minority. Women have been encouraged to um to go into school more because you all would be basically dead weight if you didn't. This is where the welfare mom bullshit comes from. So the reality is that's actually kind of fucking pathetic. There is that gap. We could actually close that gap. And by the way, most women are more educated. Than most than their men, if you look at it by proxy of degrees, more black women. And by the way, you all also have debt. Also, there's more black women and black men. For black men, black women, they are still more educated than the majority of black men. And so, I so I want you to understand something. What she just said. Look at what she just said. Than educated black men. Black women are more educated, making up 29 percent of the 25 plus year old black people with bachelor's degrees, whereas black men make up only 22 percent. Which doesn't sound significant, but when you think about it, there are more black women than there are black men. Black women, they are still more educated than the majority of. So here's the thing about black women and their education. I, I get what you're saying now, but here's the thing about black women and their education. Black women are also most in debt. Your education doesn't mean jack shit if you have a hundred thousand dollars in debt because you all are not paying the debt, which is why I'm definitely not a fan of Biden removing this debt. You pay for it, you do it. Y'all need to carry that. You need to carry that because that's what you chose to do. Fuck debt relief when it comes to that. That's why I'm on that. And that's for everybody. Because, But you are educated. That is not in that is not. in. See, this is where they use to say, well, if they're more educated. They make more money. No, you don't actually, because everything doesn't require a degree. And when you look at a degree, they're talking about bachelor's degree. They're not talking about certifications and stuff like that. So even all educated is not counted. I mean, where did you go to school at? Like, this is the type of shit where you really can only date a white. Like, and it's funny because she'll acknowledge racism, but you clearly don't. Like, see, I can tell, like, this is shit she was told. I can tell she hasn't read any books on the shit or anything like that because this is shit that she's being told offhand and given and spoon fed statistics on it. Black men. And I'm going to assume that most educated black women want to be with another educated man. According to Brookings Institute data, black men are less likely than black women to complete high school and 50% less likely to have attained a four year college degree. Yet, despite the shortage of suitable black partners, black women have also been the least likely of any minority group to marry outside of their race. So, again, we are less likely to. Uh, again, that is you all's choice. And it's not going to change because y'all promote it because you all are not really acknowledging why that is. You all are trying to act like y'all going to wish that shit away. And we got more degrees than Hispanic dudes. Like, what do y'all talk? Oh, man, it's crazy. The level of bullshit. But this is what these chicks are looking at. Remember, for one, for, I'm going to do a minute or two. Marry outside of our race. We have a strict loyalty to black men. Black men don't really have Why do you have a strict lo loyalty to black men? Kind of loyalty. On top of the education. So basically, because black men are putting their dick in other women. Oh, man. And the incarceration, unfortunately... Black men have a lower life expectancy. Black men are further subject to high mortality. Homicides drive up rates along with higher rates of dying from diabetes, kidney disease, and sepsis than other men. In all, the latest average life expectancy at birth for black men is 71.5 years. And another factor that needs to be considered is the population of black men who are gay. So that also automatically deletes a good percentage of black men. And then there's black men who have children already. Yeah, so because there's so many. There's like, like 30, 40 percent of black men are gay, the way these chicks think about it. If you're a high earning, educated black woman who's never been to jail and you want a man who's at the same level as you, who doesn't have children and isn't gay, that's a very, very small percentage of black available men. And unfortunately, those men who are eligible bachelors, black men are. You you would think you would think that these women she's talking about that are highly educated and high earning would be fucking smart enough to understand all this just by proxy the environment that they're in. The fact that you've been having this, this conversation has been had for like 40, 50 years now. I can pull up when I was born in 1986, this kind of conversation being had. So clearly. It's not that people don't know. It's the things that people are choosing not to say as to what drives these outcomes. If you're educated and that fucking smart and you cannot get with a black dude and like, you know, you already know what you got to do. Like Kamala Harris could have got with a black dude. She chose to get with a, um, a Jewish dude. 
Like these women are not. Oh, well, they just like notice how she's saying. Oh, well, they just they, they we just have to date out. We didn't do it. I don't know where all these justifications come from. This is interesting because this video really articulates everything that I say in this video. And the problem is, there's a lot of dudes that believe this shit wholeheartedly because she looks like a reasonable black woman. But really, this this chick is just repeating shit. Even in the statistics she's showing, all of this shit is like old and outdated. Because I've looked at these stats. These are narratives. And see, when we started producing our own stats to counter these narratives to show that they're actually misrepresenting these stats, now all of a sudden they have a problem. Are twice as likely as black women to intermarry. Of everything I've said with statistics. And, 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 and when you say twice as likely, yeah, the number is that. The, so remember, it's percentages. So black women marry out at an extreme low rate. And we know why that is regardless so, yeah, the number is going to look bigger because we're a smaller population. So one on one, it moves more. That's why. But we still marry black women at 86 percent. What are you talking about? And we're more married despite you all being a higher population, which doesn't get talked about the internalized racism and generational trauma black women have become aware of this and have become fed up with it and now come and she says they've been aware of it this has been going on for decades y'all can't be educated and then you, you she's making it sound like this is like a 2018 or 15 phenomena this is a new this is always a new phenomenon to these young chicks because this is them virgining out into them wanting, why can't I be white and date white boys like the white girl? Th this is this is this is how that is why I always they get into it. This is how they gateway into divestorship and interracial ship. And they get their minds get mind fucked into this world of virgining possibility because they're young and they can kind of get away with that shit. And then you wind up like only logical and then like uh, only logical video. Because they, they get into this like suspended animation of reality. And some of these chicks can't get white dudes. But these black women actually think that a white a black uh, white man is going to treat a black female like a white female. And that's when they start getting delusional. But this is this shows you where this comes from. And because black men have the nerve to challenge that shit, it's like it's seen as violence against them because they see us as popping that bubble. With in actuality, we don't care about Papa Y'all's bubble. We care about these niggas that's constantly acting like, you know, this is what they're on. This pasta and lobster trend. And so a lot of black women are realizing like, oh, we can date outside of the race. If we want love, we should be open to other people. And I think I agree with that. You all should. And the fact that y'all got to hear from a ratchet female says speaks volumes. You all absolutely should. I'm not against that. So why aren't you? Because because black because here's the thing. When you start saying I'm a date out, black men are irrelevant to that conversation. Now you want to say that black men are making y'all look bad. Y'all now you got to say that black men have the power to actually shape your image. And so black women, you know, black women, even when you look at all of the stuff that she said, like we're abusing and we're killing them. See, their selling point to other races, the dudes is black men are harming us, they're killing us. Can you save us? And why that's too white men, other races of men are like that's too much shit. That's too heavy. To the extent that they believe that shit. Ali, the rapper who made the song, really was just making a cultural observation and putting it in her music and is really making commentary on this cultural shift. I think, unfortunately, for a long time, Black women have felt limited. They felt like, you know, they're not beautiful enough. They're not feminine enough. And a lot of this messaging has come from Black men. Yeah, so they lay it completely at the end. And see, she lays it completely at the feet of Black men. It's all Jermaine's fault, basically. And we've internalized this and felt, you know, if Black men don't even want us, then who else will? But... What we are realizing is, oh, actually, a lot of men want us. White men have always been attracted to black women. That's always been a thing. There has never been an issue of desirability. But unfortunately, brainwashing has led us to believe that we are not desirable. So so the only thing. So I want y'all to keep this in mind. This is what she's basically saying. The only thing that's keeping this black female from white dudes, from black women, from white dudes, is just them wanting to date them. Good luck with that we are unwanted and it took years of abuse to finally look beyond the men who have been rejecting us for years and making us feel like we aren't good enough to see that there is hope there is love beyond uh black love and i'm not saying oh i don't believe in black love i believe in love in general that's the thing
that's the point really and i think you know i'm talking specifically about white men and black women here i think what's interesting with the white man is like i've heard people say that there's a understanding between the two because both are in very distinct positions in society where you know white men have this privilege they are both exempt from misogyny and racism and black women experience both misogyny and racism and so neither are trying to compete neither are kind of competing in the suppression olympics of being like who has it worse you know like there's an understanding between the two whereas with black men and black women sometimes there is a uh, friction that happens because the black man may be like oh well i have it worse as a black man in america and they sometimes struggle to empathize with the struggles that black women face and so there's sometimes a struggle that happens there and i actually think that's why black men and white women go together because they both have a privileged blind spot where white women they have the privilege of being white but they experience the oppression of being a woman black men have the privilege of being men but they experience the oppression of being black so you know those are just some theories i love to see my girlies and, and that's what i'm saying it's theories and the thing is these women internalize this shit and I, i'm gonna tell you you can't this shit can't be fixed when they start internalizing that, the only thing that really fix that is when they deal with wrecking ball situations from non-black men. And then they come back after they, this is some Irene Vet shit, and they come back with mixed kids or like Karazin wanting to then talk to black men again. And by then you're cooked. You're cooked. There's nothing to be said. There's nothing to be said. You need to go on and deal with the shit you're dealing with and go ahead and deal with that. But this is, this is interesting exactly black men are privileged it's but this is what they believe and i typically don't engage in shit like this because you're arguing with belief i don't argue with belief like hood conservative believes white supremacy doesn't exist i can i'm not arguing with that you believe i'm not arguing with that i'm not arguing with that I, i'm not arguing with belief i'm not arguing with belief because I'm not here to change religions. I'm here to make you find what you're looking for. And I mean that shit. And I, I mean that y'all should believe that shit too. This was a 25-minute video, by the way. Y'all lucky. Y'all got two and a half hours out of me. This is a 25-minute video. So what was it? We got, we got some folks in here. Let's see what some folks got to say. I'm curious. Whew. Yeah. And she talks. And, and that's one thing. One thing is when people talk about brainwashing, you the red pill is 360 degrees, meaning you have to look internally as well. And and you can tell. And that's not that's something women don't do, because looking internally requires accountability. So that that's a blind uh, accountability is a blind spot for your ask. Understand pasta and lobster is some ghetto shit. When you hear a black woman saying pasta and lobster, that auto that you automatically know you're not dealing with somebody that's in the class of that. So you're already telling on yourself, you know, when when you do that. So um and then where it, it, it messes up is they confuse sexual access from commitment, which also further fucks them up. This is why shit like this is why Kayla Nicole had, well, I don't 100% blame Kayla Nicole for having to do a public service announcement. No degrees, because like when I say no degrees, because if you're, you don't have to have a college degree to be a plumber. You don't have to technically have a college degree, be an electrician. So blue collar work, trade work does not require the degrees. They require certifications because you have to keep up. Yeah, you have to. Exactly. I should share this. I, I should share this with Z. I might, I might email this to Z because I know Z would have fun with this shit. Cause fuck talk about for Harriet and all of them. So anyway, let's go look. Like, let me end this shit. Let's go look at the um, comment section real quick. So let's go to the comic section, the wonderful world of the comic section, because it always goes down in the comment section. Let me blow this up for y'all. Make sure y'all can see it. Yeah, y'all can see it real good. At least she's got her, her sources, even though her sources are bullshit, but at least she's got her sources. 77 views in two days, not bad. Very well put together channel. You know, let's and let's uh, so 
in all honesty, I don't care what black males have to say about me as a black woman. I'll continue to date who I want. All and all black women have to have to follow suit. Absolutely. I agree with that. Let's see. Let's see what. And that's and that got 13. That got 13. Uh, 1.3 K. This is a black dude. He said, honestly, I love your confidence. It's really inspiring and really, really crucial to have in a world which does look down, especially on black women. And when they say the world, it's always like black men run the world. So it's our fault. Notice how she made it our fault. Like we control a promotion or anything. We control all of this. So apparently so it's crazy. Louder. My dad always shamed me for dating white men. I can see that. But black men never treated me well and blamed me for ending the relationship. I've always found all races of men attractive. So them chicks to say they're only attracted to black men and that loyal shit is a lie. Here's cares and thank you for poisoning my sin. Pink pill, I your your y'all options have been expanded to say they weren't. You're saying black women are stupid. Absolutely, dude. Thank you. I hope not just black women, but brown women to understand that they should go where they're respect like and this is this see that's that political shit hispanic women don't give a fuck about y'all if y'all really understand what goes down in hispanic community y'all y'all think color purple is any in in our community shit they don't give a fuck about what you're talking about like like mind your business they're your competition see this is where that black and brown shit starts to look real dumb as many black brown women have basically played the fuck out of um black women, but whatever. As black as black as as a black woman, as a black you know it's how they always say have to say as a black woman they have to qualify that as a black woman. I just hope that we still practice having discernment when it comes to the men that we date, regardless of race. Okay, I can agree with that. Um, uh, I tell y'all all the time, don't um. Don't go red pill for black women, only remain blue pill for non-black women. I can, I can understand that. And a lot of women don't. But, you know, and shouldn't automatically think that being with a man is non-black will always equal to being better. Go after being loved. I can, I can rock with that. Absolutely. That's a good comment. 662. Watch this. Let's see what the replies are, though. Thank you. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, anyone can and will play in your face. OK, good. Yes. Dr. Umar Johnson. One, that's funny. How d does having not benefit the black community? This video is not about what benefits the black community. So why are you even saying that? Like, this is stupid. Like, nigga, you're dumb. That's what I'm saying. Individual women are not responsible for the community just because they're women. They shouldn't have to shoulder the burden of the community. And see, that's another thing that needs to be real specific. It's hoteps. Any if anybody tries to shame black women in the day and now, it's gonna be hoteps. Why would you come in this video and then listen to this video and say that? That that that's stupid. I'm telling you this dumb. Like you're a goofy ass dude for even saying it. exactly. There are good men of every race. There are knuckleheads of every race. Yeah. So you know, for the most part, these people agree with that. So that's good. I mean, they're not completely off. I'm going to be honest. This whole movement has made me embarrassed that I might be associated with it for being in an interracial relationship, and I think about it a lot. Ooh, shit. Yeah, because it's because really that pasta and lobster shit, that's not shit. Women, that, that's that's that what that is, is that's women that don't really got the ball. Like that's fetishization shit. That, that's what that is. Uh Oh, let's see. Same dude. Like I'm literally just living life. This is all chronic, chronically online. Trust me, people in real life do not care. I, I can agree with that. Women participate in a lot of on more online only shit because women follow trends a lot more than men do. Boy, they going after Nicki Minaj, yo. Nicki Minaj, boy, they, they are not fucking with Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj starting to realize people don't fuck with her like that, like they used to. She used to be, anyway. Nope, what people do on the internet has real worth. Yeah, to a certain extent. I, but if the reality is these conversations have been had. I generally don't think the average person sees an interracial couple and assumes the worst. Those, ah, uh, some black women do. Uh, the truth is, as a black, as a black, what's this as black women, our odds of getting what we want go up when we broaden our options instead. I mean, statistically, they do. Instead of my point is, if you reject, first of all, what, what a lot of black women 
are lying about is black women have y'all are fucking in um non-black men a lot more than y'all are telling than y'all are admitting to. And so a lot of this is gaslighting as well. I've slowly been seeing more black women dating out when I'm out and about. I'm so happy to see more black women opening their options and race. I love this for us. Sign a black women t- assigned a black woman dating age. And here's my thing. I'm one of the reasons why I, I want black women to date out more because it shuts down the conversation of black women. Y'all can't go after black men as hard. To, uh, to conclude, date people who treat you right, people that respect you, love you, doesn't matter, Indian, blah, 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 find someone that's good, yeah, the princess treatment, white dudes are not known for giving, like, and it's funny how whenever you see them put on TikTok, they always, like, act like it's the bachelor, a white dude suited up, like, like, this is just, like, this is the average white dude that you're seeing, like, it, it's crazy. I never got more shit for dating than when I started dating a white man. I dated literally everything, black and Latino man, Asian, Afro-Latino women, being bisexual, being a bisexual Afro-Latina myself. Nobody moved. Once I dated the first white guy that you don't love yourself, you're a sellout. Why don't you like black men? Get the fuck out of here. Black women serve a mirror to black men, but they don't like what they see in their reflection. That was a word. Yeah, because black men are getting blind weave, wigs, lighting in their skin. We're doing all that shit. <sighs> Whatever. I have gotten far into this video, but I'll say this. As a black woman, I've only been in interracial relationships, not on purpose. Many of my crushes growing up were black. The black community is very unfair in this topic, and it's strange. If men will do what they want, just do what you want. The reality is, if you're in that situation, I'm going to believe you're in that situation, then you probably are a skinny mini, and a lot of black dudes don't like skinny minis, unfortunately. Um, and and I don't blame you. Date Date who likes you. I don't blame you for it. And so that's that. Let's let's go just so I'm not. Let's go look at. So this this looks like a light feminist channel, a light intersectionalist channel. You know, she's got the look. So let's go look and see some of these videos before we end this. You know, Patreon only because we must do that. You know, the swirlification, beauty maintenance is a scam. TikTok is a dystopian fever dream. Uh, is beauty a choice? Looks maxing, anti-aging, filler surgery. Why uh, fat Victoria's Secret angels don't work. Teenagers don't exist anymore. Youth culture in third spaces. It's because teenagers don't like to stay in teenage spaces. They want to be grown too fast. I killed my clone. The girlification of TikTok trends. Girl dinner, girl math. The exploitation. Okay, so she's holding Ice Spice accountable. What is girl? What is a girl's girl, and who gets to be one? Doja's cat's intentional decline. Oh, I actually might watch that one. I actually might. I actually might watch that one. I'm not even gonna lie. I, these, these chicks were out of inside. I kill my. What's it? I kill my clone. What is an idol tried? The millennial YouTube curse. Stand culture and attention. You know, typical young female channel aimed at young people. Gen Z gets some decorum. Yeah, so, you know, typical Gen Z channel allocating to younger people. Yeah, I may check out this, this Hoy Bailey force her. Sir. So we'll see. Mom and tell, yeah, yeah, like I said, so, you know. This is like I said, she's an influencer. This is just a topic that um is gonna generate views, but she don't know what she's talking about. Ugh. That's why I don't do videos like this, because I make them too long. I turn a 25-minute video. This is why I tell you niggas you millennials need to be out in these spaces. This is why I say you millennials need to be on YouTube because y'all can speak on this better than I can. Zillennial here. I've never dated a white woman, but always, but I've always dated inter uh, racially Asians and non-black Latinas. Why are they all? Yeah. It, and, that, and that's a tell. That's a tell. That's a tell. When you hear women, that's a tell because you notice how black men are always fixated on white, on white dudes. That's a tell. Even when black men are speaking to black women, it's always the white woman in there. That's a tell.
Yeah, because this is womb talk. D. Scott, this is womb talk. This is a way of womb talk. Why don't I get picked? Why isn't he picking me? And the reality is a lot of that has to do with um, a lot of that has to do with all of them want the same dudes. So they want to give meaning to why they can't get the dudes that they want. And so they come up with all these little they come up with all these isms that basically, you know, tells the story. The isms justify why they can't get what they want. All of the isms, colorism, you know, they, 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 they you know, they, they, this is, this is why they believe that. And so this is why they hold on to it as hard as they do. I mean, shit, these women need to go to Europe and get a dude. I say do it all. That's what I say. What's stopping you? Like, really? But, you know, it, it again, this stuff is designed to get views. It's not designed to be accurate. It's designed to get views. And, you know, these people want an answer. They want an answer that they can vibe with. And that is what it is. But this is more Mr. Z's territory. I'll email Mr. Z, see what he thinks. Because this is this is so much shit in here. I mean, she basically just gave the laundry list of bullshit. You know, all of it is wrapped in one video. So in that sense, the video is very valuable. But this is the but remember, this is the type of stuff that's in their world. And and really, you you gotta just sift and sort with that. Like when you hear that and like this pasta and lobsters trend, like the fact that they took on that trend, oh pasta and lobster, like let them. Like it's like, why don't you? Because as far as I'm concerned, if you're dating a black man, um, black man and you talking this, you're dumb. Cause you kind of deserve what you get. Because again, you're literally going out of your way. Like, like they they really make it seem like the problem is there is a select group of dudes that they like and they see it as oppression that there's not more dudes that they like. So now they all have to put up with whatever these dudes are going to do and they get angry about that. And this is what they try to, you know, um, meaning he said, you just being fair. It's just like it is. Yeah, but. Oh, no, nah, Kareem, you got to you got to rewind it. It is good. It was good. It was good. In fact, if you want to, um, in fact, you know, if you don't want to watch the, watch the whole video, because this is a lot, my, my commentary is a lot. So it's cause it's not fair for you to have to watch an hour for 25 minutes here. Here's the link to the video. So check out check out the video. In fact, don't listen to my commentary. Look at the video for yourself and you let me know next time I go live. What do you think about it? As a woman, as a black woman. Because because, yeah, you'll get into it in the first seven minutes. Yeah, I told you all. I told half a million. I told you all their space. That shit over there is so much larger than what we do over here, which is why they always try to act like, you know. Um, yeah. All the isms, colorism, darkism, featureism. And she mentioned it here. She mentioned it all here. Just saying, we get weave and light skin cream because you know we want you know you. So y'all are doing it for men because I'm told y'all don't do it for men. I'm told y'all do it for you. That's what I'm told. That's what I'm told. Did y'all do it for you? Did y'all don't need no man? But again, you know when you're looking for that. They said Taylor Swift has generate equivalent brand value of three hundred thirty one million for the Chiefs and the NFL. The amount includes TV highlights, social media. Yeah, I told you that's it. I saw that in my discord. That's exactly why they're promoting her and you're and they're going to promote her in the. um. They're going to promote her, um, you know, the playoffs, they're going to promote her while they can. 
I may check out when Jason Black's Black Authority talking about there's a um anti-white Asian, a white age, a white and Asian racist coalition. Yeah, I do believe that because Asians do believe in knowing their place. I do believe that. And that's why it's so detrimental. They do. I'm not saying she does because there's there's spectrums of that. But the reality is a lot of these women, they do hate that and they project it because men don't modify themselves. The shit that men modify themselves for, like gold teeth and stuff like that, dreads, that shit is designed to appeal to black women. Black women modify themselves to appeal to other races. Black women don't get blind weed for black men. Black women get blind weed for other races. And so. Yeah, that lot, man, please. Them white dudes ain't taking them out like that. Because, you know, if they were, they, they, man, please. If white men were really checking for black women in the, in the ways that, that they're talking about, they would be over there already. They would be over there already for a lot of different reasons. So the thing about it is with these chicks, a lot of times we doing is they give meaning to getting bottom shelf brats, a lot of them. And they'll do it in a couple of different ways. They'll do what Janae did, which is go after younger dudes. You'll be 27, so you're dealing with a 22-year-old. They do these, these relationships with asterisks, relationships that they typically wouldn't engage in on the same thing if it was black. And then they just give it on there. And like I said, let them do it. That's something they need to deal with. Like, that's a conversation they need to have amongst themselves. And black men need to not get in the way of that. Well, what if you want to keep it black? Then get a black chick from another country. And then sift through that, too. That's what you do. Let them do that. That's a journey they got to do on their own. So anyway, I appreciate, you know, the super chats. Appreciate Grinch, Shane Vicious for the two, D. Scott for the one, Lion. Appreciate all that. Like I said, hit up the Cash App if you like it. And I'm going to end this video. And with that being said, this is Elwood signing off. Peace.